afternoon and good evening to you all from whatever it is you're joining me from today i remain your girl kachi thank you all so much for doing this with me i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are doing very well thank you all so much for joining me once again today on nine job watch on today's discussion on what is affecting you and i in our beloved country nigeria i hope you guys are doing very well Guys, please help us to like and share this broadcast if you are yet to do so. Liking and sharing simply means that you want our voices to be heard. Of course, you want our wonderful ideas and suggestions to be heard all over the globe. So please help us to like and share this broadcast. Thank you all so much and God bless you. And do not forget to join us on screen if you would like to lend your voice to the cause. If you want to, you want people to hear what you think about what we're going to be discussing today. Don't forget to click on the link right there on the comment section and I'll have you right here with me on screen today. Please tell a friend to tell another friend about Ninja World because guys, today is really going to be hot. We're going to be talking about a lot of things, a number of things that is actually happening right now in our beloved country, Nigeria, and what is affecting us right now in Nigeria. So guys, help us to like and share, help us to tell somebody today about Ninja Watch so we can all come together and discuss what is going on in our beloved country, Nigeria. I mean, it's no news that Peter Obi is our choice here on Ninja Watch. It's no news and we're going to do everything we do in our powers to keep spreading the word, to keep talking to people, to make people understand this is the reason why they have to vote for Peter will become 2023 presidential election. This is the reason why they have to vote for XYZ come 2023 general elections. So guys, continuously, I want to commend all of you, our viewers, the people on the comment, our panelists. I want to commend you guys for always taking time out of your busy schedule to do this with us. Trust me, not be easy to me when I do. And I commend you guys for always doing this with us. Thank you so much. May our effort never be in vain. But guys, please, this is not the time for us to get carried away because sometimes I hear people say, Peter Obi already win. You know, see the crowd. You know, see, say people love Peter Obi. You know, see, say everybody don't they come out for Peter Obi. Please, guys, let's not get carried away. I want to beg all of us not to get carried away by comments like that. Yes, I understand that um, the Peter Obi movement is gaining momentum every day. People are getting to know the movement and all of that but please and please and please let's not get carried away by statements like that we shouldn't get carried away by statements like that we still need to come out and do what we need to do we still need to keep spreading the word we still need to keep talking to people we still need to 
continuously spread the word to let people understand that come 2023, it should not be business as usual. These people have, you know, decided to weaponize poverty in such a way that people will not have a choice than for them to sell their votes. But need I remind you guys that if you sell your votes, you automatically lose the right to complain. Selling your votes simply means that any way they take your eyes, see me, you take her like that. That is what selling your votes means. It means that you cannot complain because they don't buy you for the next eight years. Selling your vote means that you cannot talk. Any way they treat you, may you take her like that. Any way they do you, may you take her like that. So please, guys, let's continuously sensitize these people. Let's continuously speak to them. Let them understand the reason why they cannot sell their votes. Selling your vote seems like you're throwing away your future. It feels like you're selling your birthright. right. Please, guys, we need to sensitize these people. We need to continuously do this. Speak to people. Make a conscious effort. That market where you go buy pepper. That um, boutique where you go buy clothes. That place where you go buy meat. Anywhere where you go, just continuously, you know, dive into conversation. Make a conscious effort to make sure you any opportunity you get just keep talking to people about this election because a lot of people like i always say some people are not decisive yet a lot of people are indecisive as to whom they are going to be voting for so please guys let's continuously do this i know someone had a trial but we still have to keep doing what we are doing until the day of election let's continuously make a conscious effort when you go market go buy pepper when you go market go buy tomatoes when you go market go buy anything at all make a conscious effort have a conversation with somebody from there just begin to ask those questions please guys let's continuously do the right thing and like i said before selling your vote simply means that you are selling your bed right you have no reason to complain only how well they treat you you cannot complain you know if you talk him because they don't buy you already for the next four or eight years depending on when that particular administration is going to be in power so guys let's keep talking to people let's continuously sensitize them let's make them understand let's not get carried away by the momentum and uh, peter will be the already win and uh, peter will be uh, the people's choice Yes, but please and please and please, that's a message I want to quickly drop before we go into, you know, um, our topic for today. I just want to plead with every one of us not to get carried away because I see a lot of people are getting carried away and they fail to understand that the opposition parties are not resting. They keep doing everything that they can do within their powers to make sure that they get people to be on their side. This is enough reason why we should not relent. This is more than enough reason why we should not get carried away and continuously speak to people and continuously make our... I know you guys are trying, like I said, but please, I'm just begging that we shouldn't get carried away. We should keep doing what we are doing. May the Almighty bless our effort and May our effort never be in vain. Thank you all so much for doing this. Guys, please do not forget to help us to like and share this broadcast if you are here to do so. Tell a friend to tell somebody today about Ninja Watch. Help us to like and share. Support us by using the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what we do here. Thank you all so much and God bless you guys. And like I said before, the link is already pasted right there on the comment section. If you would like to join me here, if you like to air your views if you would like to lend your voice to what we're talking about today do not hesitate to click on the link right there on the comment section and i have you right here with me on screen i can see g simon already joined us g simon 137 g simon good evening to you thank you for joining me today i really do appreciate you guys um i can see mommy diaspora in the building mommy diaspora Thank you so much for always doing this with us god bless you we appreciate you and to our viewers Oh my God. Like I always say, you guys have a special, special place in my heart. And I do not miss what when I say that. Thank you all so much to our viewers all over the world watching us. I really do appreciate you guys. Without you all, we cannot spell success. So I say a big thank you for always doing this with us. Like I say, you can choose to be anywhere, but you decided to come here and watch us and hear us out and support us. Thank you so much. Because it's not the only money that they use to put us on. Watching us alone, you're encouraging us. Commenting, you're you are, you are encouraging us. 
lending your voice to the cause. You are, you are, you are encouraging us, liking and sharing. You guys are um, encouraging us. So I say a big thank you. We do not take your love, your support, your patronage for granted. God bless you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay, guys, that being said, I'm just going to quickly introduce our topic for today. The first one we have here is, it's so sad, APC is now doing a catch-up with OB. This is doing a quick way talking. We already know that the OB movement is gaining momentum here and there. You know, the rally, you all remember October 1st rally in Lagos. Like, the, the rally was done in four different places, and all four places got a lot of crowd. It was done in Lekki, it was done in Surulik, it was done in Festac and of course in Kenja, and everywhere was packed. Everywhere was packed. So on this interview, they were asking to you whether what do you think about the APC rally? And he was just saying that as far as it's concerned, these guys are just doing a catch-up because I mean the OB movement was organic, the followers were organic. You know, people just came from all angles, people just came from different places to join this day. So I'm going to be sharing that video with you guys here, and I also have another video. Of a parish, a pastor. Do I call him a pastor, a cardinal, or an archbishop? I really do not know the title to give him. But he has also come out boldly to say that he's not going to vote for a Muslim Muslim ticket. You know, a lot of pastors right now are sitting on the fence concerning this politics right now. They keep saying, oh, um, the church is not going to get themselves involved in anything that has to do with politics or our church. Or we're not going to get involved. Anyways, this pastor has come out to say that he's not going to vote for a Muslim Muslim ticket and he stated his reason why he will not do that. And now let's move straight to the next thing I have for you. Now, oil theft is what is currently making waves in Nigeria at the moment. A lot of oil theft. And now the question on everybody's lips is why is it that now, now where Peter will be the wrong for position. Now where Peter will be come talk about oil theft, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they don't discover illegal pipeline here and there. Now, so the other day, they said they discovered 12 illegal pipelines. The other day, they said they discovered two. Yesterday, they said they discovered how many. All of a sudden, they are now discovering illegal pipelines everywhere, all of a sudden. All of a sudden. This illegal pipeline, they say, don't they, don't they exist since nine years now? Since nine years, now this illegal pipeline, don't they operate? Don't they export crude? Don't they sell crude? For the past nine years, how is it possible that they did not notice it for nine years? Is it a commoner that, 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 that can get, an, get a pipeline that is illegal? Me and you know feed one because we don't have the expertise, we don't have the capacity to run such, such, such business. So this is to show you that now the high and mighty, the people where they day on top, now then they run this thing. Because it's not possible for a commoner to do this successfully without having, you know, the proper insight in, in, in this. So the question now is why we say now now we Peter will be come out when they talk about oil theft, you know how the how the country is running bankrupt and all that. Why be saying now now that they discover that they discover illegal pipeline that has been running for good nine years. And this nine years not one way they tell us. So we don't know whether the thing done a wrong before we don't know that it's not the wrong for more than nine years we don't know but this nine years now this, now what did they tell us say oh this pipeline no, has been running for nine years now the one way we know now will come out the talk so so we're going to be sharing that also with you and i have some sort of articles to read for you buhari or will i say the federal government don't bring out their budget for transportation for 2023 which is over 20 point something billion well we're going to be reading that article i do not understand where all these monies they come from, oh, I really do not understand where all of this is coming from. So we're going to be sharing all of this with you guys. We'll be sharing some videos. We'll be reading some articles together. So guys, help us to like and share if you're just joining us. Like and share this broadcast. Tell a friend to tell another friend today about Ninja Watch. Thank you all so much. God bless you as you do this with us today. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I can see Osai Bovo Okonigai. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
Monday. I appreciate you guys. I can say Monday smart. Good day. Thank you, Mr. Monday. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. Please help us to like and share this broadcast. And guys, if you're new to our platform, probably you stumbled on, on our page or something and you're yet to subscribe. Please, this is the right place for you to be. All you have to do is subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always be notified whenever we come on air just like this one we promised you guys we're going to be coming out here every day up until the day of election so guys help us to like and share help us to subscribe and also support us by using the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what we do here thank you all so much god bless you for your continuous love for your continuous support for your continuous encouragement i really do appreciate you guys like i always say words alone cannot qualify cannot qualify qualify how grateful i am thank you all so much mr ophili moye is saying kachi you are speaking my mind that's what i said when i heard the news about the discovery of oil theft exactly because a layman cannot go and steal this oil me i no feel good one me i no feel even do illegal pipeline do i have the sense do i even have uh, uh, the expertise do i have the insight do i know how these things are being done i don't even know how it's done so now people where they hide and they do all these things and like i said why be saying that now where peter will be they talk say uh, um government they do this government and all of a sudden they are now discovering illegal pipeline all of a sudden they won't increase the uh, worker's salary all of a sudden they won't begin to put things in place just to show you that they have the power to do all of these things so all of a sudden now they don't get power to do all these things it's terrible it, as in when i say it's terrible it's amazing how these people just you know turn deaf ears to the cry of people until they choose to do something and they go do them this is just a clear case of where any way concern when i'm on at the top now what did my mind to do now this is just a clear case of 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 it all but thank you guys so much we're going to go straight into um what we're going to be um, sharing with you guys today but before i do that let me just take time out to acknowledge more people right there on the comment section i can see james tippens right there good evening to you mr james thank you for joining us i can see favor of faith right there thank you so much i can see ophili monye right there thank you so much for joining us today rita adams unstoppable thank you so much monday smart good day i see you right outside Bobo Okonigai, thank you so much mommy the aspora is also right here with us thank you g simon 137 i see you right there thank you so much for joining guys we still have more space on the screen just in case you would like to come and lend your voice to what we're going to be talking about today thank you all so much god bless you for taking time out to do this with us so where do we start from i'm just thinking where do we start from okay let's start from oil theft we're going to be starting from oil theft thank you guys please help us to like and share our broadcast god bless you azero sells repeat uh, receipts rather from crude oil in the month of july oil theft is hitting nigeria's economy harder than ever before in the past few weeks the government has been on a mission to reverse the trend Arise Business and Energy Correspondent Oyi Sunday visited Yoke in Delta State and witnessed the preliminary investigation on oil theft in the region. We have not exported crude from Boni since March. We have not exported crude from Pocado since April. If we put all these numbers together, you can see where we are bleeding. We can say whatever we want to say. Bottom line is that the Treasury is not getting the revenue. For the government, there are no excuses for the negative trends recorded in the sector. And the heavy downpour here does not suffice on this mission to investigate the discovery of an illegal pipeline that has been in operation for over nine years. The movement is on. Through Yokri Road in Ogulaga Kingdom in Delta State, officials of the Nigeria National Petroleum Company National Petroleum Investment Management Services, including the Chief of Defense Staff and a staff of a private security firm, Tantita Security Services, all make their way to the swamps, where two out of 12 illegal pipelines have been discovered. Security Services all make their way to the swamps, where two out of 12 illegal pipelines have been discovered. For most here, 
it's an unfamiliar terrain. To avoid a fall, we walk behind those who have gone before. Almost two kilometers from the seashore, we arrive at a spot where pipelines are being uncovered. A further walk gives a clearer picture. Two illegal connections have been unearthed. Officials try to make sense of what is before them. As far as we speak, we did not know of this thing until when our guys discovered it when they're doing ground throttle. When was that? That was on the 1st of uh, this month of October. And it's captured in our system. Just one okay. month ago? Yes. Within this TV, I have three deployments of GSF. Okay. One officer, Hattie men. Two gunboats for which we will we, we take care of for this line. Okay. Apart from that, I have Escravos flow, I have Otomara flow, I have Sagara, I have deployment of GSF2. Okay. Three. What you are saying is yes. that we are private contractors, yes. civilian contractors are, must be aware of this. The GSS around here should have known about it. Yes. Shell supervisors should know about it. That's the point you are making. That if, if, it's, if it's being informed. Because, no, no, no. It's, not, yes. it's not conditional. It's, right. yeah, conditional. it's a responsibility. Yeah, yeah. What is possible in achieving this? No, I would not because they are illegally done. This is what the team has come to verify. Oil is stolen for two reasons for export and for artisanal refining. Your okay, guys, that's all I'm going to be sharing on this particular one oil theft currently making headways in Nigeria right now. So, like I've asked before, do you think it's possible for oil for oil to to just you know you know just disappear like that without the right um, authorities being notified about it? Personally, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. So, like I said before, just all of a sudden, just because Peter Obi has come out to be talking about oil theft, all of a sudden they are beginning to look out for pipelines that has been destroyed or, or pipelines that has been planted illegally and things like that they said this thing has been happening for over nine years how is it possible that it has been happening for over nine years and nothing has been done about it why is it now why we say now now when we say peter will be they always hammer on the fact of uh what say they call them um, oil theft and all that why we say now now all of a sudden you know, they don't they find out illegal pipeline. They say they find 12 the other day for Bayelsa. They were able to uncover two of them. So why is it now? Why is it now? This is these are the kind of things that is happening in our country, Nigeria. And all these kind of things I am going to see every day. I think they happen so right before our eyes. Nigerians, make we wake up or make we vote wisely this time around. This is not the time for us to even snooze or sleep or to hang on the fence. You can see, you can see that. Just and they talk same on you know the country. One person just did one side, just just do one illegal pipeline, just they extract crude, they take them out of the country. How is it possible? And the how would the federal government say they are not aware? How would people in that vicinity, in that environment, the DSS, those people there, how is it possible that they can say they are not aware of the situation? It's mind blowing, is 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 difficult to believe, even if it's true. It's very difficult to believe that these people, some people are not aware. It's very, very difficult to believe, honestly. So, guys, please, I beg, make gonna help us share this broadcast. Make gonna help us like them if you are yet to do so. And if you are yet to get your PVC, if you they hear my voice, if you never get on a PVC, I beg, you guys go get your PVC and come out ready February 2023 to vote and vote right. Thank you all so much. We're gonna Move straight to the next video I want to share with you guys today. That will be on Dorian Okupe's interview on Channel TV concerning the APC match on Sunday. There are five million match on Sunday. That will be the next video I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Like I said before, we all know that October first, when it happened in Lagos, Lagos covered four different locations, and all of the locations was 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 filled up when the OB Dati rally was held in Lagos. Like I said, it was lucky so Larry, first talk, um, and in Kenya, they were all filled up organic crowd people that came out voluntarily to express their fundamental rights as Nigerians. So now, though, your group is just saying that APC they do follow, follow now, follow, follow that they do so because they will be there to not make them want to. So let's quickly take a look at that before we move straight to the next thing I have for you today. Thank you all so much, and God bless you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.
I'm sure you must have seen the APC's march in Lagos today. It's been described as a five million man march. And that's just coming a week after your party staged its own. And it looks like a battle of who can pull the most crowd, as I said earlier on. Uh, does your party feel intimidated seeing the crowd that was pulled by the APC in Lagos, a major stronghold today? Well, <laughs> you can see that I, I find it quite uh, entertaining. Uh, one of the greatest things that has happened in this, in this, in this dispensation <laughs> is that a four-month-old party, I mean, is now so much in leadership that parties that have existed for 20 years or more are playing a catch-up game. And it's, still, and it's still not being done very well. I want to congratulate the APC for the effort that uh, was made today. Uh, really, what you saw <laughs> was not a Lagos rally. You know, we, you know, we are a very sophisticated group, a group of, you know, Powered by youth, we have taken that tape to the. I mean, we have done a forensic study of the tape of the rally in our in our laboratories, and we found out that I personally can recognize about four or five people from my federal constituency. Others can recognize people from Oyo or Shun, etc. So, really, what you saw this morning was a Southwest rally, not really a Lagos rally. But even if you give it as a Lagos rally. It is just fairly comparable to what happened in, uh, in First Act Town. You will recall that the October 1 uh, uh, Labour Party rally, the obedient rally, simultaneously took place in an unprecedented manner with a crowd that is also unprecedented and organic in Lekki, in, uh, in uh, First Act, in Surulere, you know, in four different locations, and each go you. I mean, you have them on tape. Go and check. Put them side by side. What you saw in Lagos today uh, was nothing compared to any one of them, or maybe at best is at par with anyone. So what you have, what APC has been able to do after having seen the Labour Party movement do something is still just about a quarter of what we did. It's 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 encouraging. And uh, it shows that they're catching up. But besides that also, you know, if you look at the, that's what I told you, we did an organic study. I mean, we did a forensic study of the, of the tape. Virtually 60, 70% of those who took part were, you know, were people that were uh, members of an institution called NURWT, the constituency of the organizer of the rally. But the rally of labor is obedient is, is, is a natural human response to, you know, to what is going on in the society. And it is propelled, you could see it. It was right. propelled by dynamic youths who are dedicated, committed, not people who are just generally laughing and joking. These are very serious-minded young people who are determined to take their country, you know, back. Well, don't other parties will put a figure to you, but perhaps we can move on from that because at the end of the day, uh, the INEC will not be counting the number of people who have trooped out uh, for the rallies and all of that. And that brings me to that question. Just in the whole scheme of things, ahead of down in 30 seconds, Nigerians have been asked not to put their trust in any candidate because, as I say, man can ultimately fail. A lot of people stake their lives on the current government, and those people say they are disappointed massively. Can these people trust your candidate? <laughs> on a lighter note, you know, the Yoruba people say that if you close your eyes because bad people are passing, when good people are, come, are passing, your eyes will remain closed. What happened in the past was a disaster, an error, regrettable. But this one, we can see there's no basis for comparison. You know, this, you know, this coming election has to do with integrity, with character, with right. capability with competence and with commitment. All these are fully resident in the person of Bitaobi. You couldn't say that much, you know, of the other candidate at that right. time. This is seeing and believing. Okay.
Thank you so much. I hope you guys saw that yourself. I just said I should bring that out to you all so we can all watch the video together. Just in case you want to, you know, watch more of it. The video is available right there on um um on channels TV, so you can go there and watch for yourself so you can see what Peter will be is, is offering to Nigerians. I know a lot of people have been saying, and uh, waiting get to offer, hey, don't turn a number to London, or you don't turn on to Dubai, but just go, listen for yourself and hear what Peter will be is offering Nigerians right now. So we're going to go on a quick break, and I'll be right back to share the next video with you guys that states that, you know, is not going to be voting for a Muslim Muslim ticket. This is a pastor right now who came out to say this. You know, we've always said that pastors are sitting on the fence pastors have refused to lend their voice to what is happening right now in nigeria so i'm going to be sharing that with you and i'm also going to be reading just two articles then we can now start talking so guys please help us to like and share this broadcast if you were yet to do so help us to like and share thank you all so much and god bless you i can see israel Asemota all the way from pluto is right here with us kinsley right there philip Moye is also right here with us thank you all so much for doing this with me i really do appreciate you guys i can see doris audion tracy jokopin lucky yamu thank you all so much for joining me today favor faith is also right here with us um yes james tipson tipens rather is also right here with us thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you so much god bless every one of you help us to like and share our broadcast please do not forget to use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what we do here thank you so much and god bless you let's go on a quick break and we'll be right back all right guys thank you so much for your patience we are right back i'm going to be sharing one last video with you guys then we'll go um we'll read um an article that we cannot stop talking please guys help us to like and share the broadcast if you are yet to do so thank you all so much and god bless you let's quickly take a look at this pastor then we'll move it then we'll take it up from there thank you it is a political discussion decision taken by the APC as a party that they have calculated that they, it is their best way to assure that they will win the election. Now, there's no point telling them not to take, not to take their decision. All you can say is that they, they will have to uh, uh, accept responsibility for the decision they have taken. Like me now, like me, personally, I have only one card, voter's card, and by God's grace I will use it. I will definitely not, not vote for a Muslim Muslim ticket. That's my decision. Okay, guys, that is what I wanted to hear. I wanted you guys to hear rather. It said, me, I have just one card and I'll personally use it and I'm going to vote for a Muslim, Muslim ticket. So I wanted to put it out to you all. Thank you all so much for doing this with me. I appreciate you all. Please help us to like and share this broadcast. If you are yet to do so, help us to like and share. Thank you so much and God bless you. Um, let me just take time out to quickly pull the thumbnail right there on the screen because I can see people are asking, um, what are we talking about today? So guys, please be patient with me while I put up the thumbnail um, on the screen so we all can. Okay, great. It's up on the screen right now. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it all. So let's quickly go into the article we're going to be reading before we move straight to our wonderful panelists. It says here that... Um, 2023 budget, federal government proposes 93.66 billion naira for transportation. Hmm, I thought it said Nigeria was broke. Okay, let's read it together, guys. It said the federal government 
the federal government um, has proposed to spend a total of 93.66 billion of its 20.51 trillion budget on its activities in the Ministry of Transportation for the 2023 fiscal year. A breakdown of the ministry budget shows that shows that of total of 93.66 uh, million and billion allocated to its capital project would go up 92.25 billion. Overhead costs received a proposal of 382.18 million, while the sum of 1 billion was earmarked for personal costs. A more, a, a more breakdown of the budget shows that it's 5.22 billion for construction stroke provision. 1.14 billion was marked for rehabilitation stroke repairs of roads, while 84 million naira was for construction and provision and rehabilitation stroke repairs of waterways. The ministry is to spend most of its capital budget on ongoing projects, some of which includes activities of anti-corruption and transparency unit ACTU in the ministry and its agencies and entrenching transparency, compliance, ethics, achieving zero tolerance for corruption in the workspace, development of code of conduct, project monitoring for which is proposing 30 million naira. The federal government proposed 30.759 billion for completion of Abuja Kaduna Abuja Kaduna completion of Lagos Ibadan and its associated additional works rehabilitation of Itakwe Ajekuta rail line and construction of 12 number station building and tracks laying works at railway ancillary facilities area Agbo, among others. The construction of identification and installation of 30 kilometers speed reduction on road signage in high risk areas quarterly was alluded 18 million naira why appropriation of 10 billion naira was for railway okay let's move straight to the next one guys um this one says oil theft more on oil theft it says here that 42 more tapping points uncovered in delta and bagelsa Ex-militant leader of government, Ekwompolo Elias Tompolo, and security officials have uncovered 42 more tapping points by crude oil bunkers on the nation's oil pipeline in two states of Delta and, and Bayelsa, bringing the total to 58 yesterday. The breakthrough came as, bon as bunkers agree with the leader of the defunct movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta men for exposing their unlawful business in the past few weeks have reportedly sent threat message to him and operative of a security firm, Tantia Security Service Limited. Last Thursday, seized a vessel suspected to belong to an oil syndicate, which came to load crude oil from an undisclosed location in Delta State. However, Tampolo, who, who spoke to report to reporters yesterday at um, Oporuza, the traditional headquarters of Baramatu Kingdom, Wari South, West Local Government Area, Delta State, dismissed the threat by the oil bunkers. At the time, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Lucky Rabo, and the Group Managing um, managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, NMPCL, Milikari, visited Delta State last Friday. Tantia reported the discovery of 16 tapping points on the trans focados pipeline, while NMPCL had clapped. Tom Polo said, as of, as of today, Sunday, we have discovered over 58 tapping points that oil bunkers have used in stealing crude oil from the nation's pipeline in Delta and Bayosa State. In Delta, three major crude, crude pipelines, include the Trans Escravos and Trans Ramos lines, have been tapped by oil bunkers. Okay, guys, that's all I'm going to be sharing with you guys on this article, and I've displayed all the videos that we're going to be talking about today. Like I asked before, do you think it's possible for a common man to tap into national, the national oil because it's a nation's property right now? Do you think it's possible? And why is it why is it now that Peter Obi has been hammering on the fact that oil theft is going on in the country? Why is it now? Why is it now that 
all of a sudden they've been discovering hideouts they've been discovering illegal plantation of pipeline and all of these things is it possible to move pipe, uh, um, crude out of the country without you know the main people getting involved or without the main people knowing about what is happening in the country thank you all so much guys for listening to all we're going to be sharing today i really do appreciate you guys we have our wonderful panelists right here i know you guys cannot wait to share your knowledge and teach us what you think about this um this whole thing going on in our country i can see kingsley right there thank you so much um for joining us because they said muslim muslim ticket is a red flag yes i agree with you muslim muslim ticket is a red flag we have to be represented what in any way whatsoever i can see tracy jacobin thank you so much for doing this tracy thank you for joining us we really appreciate you guys let's move straight to our panelists and to our viewers thank you so much for doing this with us i appreciate you all man of prestige good evening to you thank you so much for joining us today man of prestige Man of prestige, yeah. are you there, please? Yeah, yeah, Kashik. Um, can I come later, please? If you don't mind. Okay, that's totally fine. Thank you so much. That's mm. right. We're gonna go straight to the next person, guys, which is uh Mr. Chooks of Big Boys. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good evening, Kachi. Good evening, everyone listening, and good evening, fellow panelists. Um I'm gonna start with the oil theft first, you know. It's um it's quite unfortunate that um, we keep lying to ourselves. I remember when we discussed about the about the oil tanker that uh, was di discovered in the um, uh, Gulf of Guinea. You know, I made it clear then that uh, it is not about uh, illegal bunkering. It's mm. complete government organized uh, something. And, um, you know, it's not that because uh, Obi started uh, saying this that made them do that. This is a political calculation. So make no mistake you know, about it. It's a political calculation. They're winding up their terms and they will come up with so many good things. I had you, you know, mention a lot, you know, think about um, uh, salary increase, you know, mm. getting a um, 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 oil subsidy off the table for mm. the next government. You don't do that. And uh, I want to use this opportunity as well you know, to tell Nigerians, I will have no pity for Nigerians if they do make the next mistake. Kachi, I, I will advise that you, uh, you know, you go um, a little in depth in uh, getting the kind of um, things you will be putting out for Nigerians out there so that they won't say they don't know. You need to get some things concerning the economy especially this time the budget is out. The mm. picture is very clear. You see this, you see this very uh, budget they did. I tell you, Kachi, right? Nigerians, if they make this same mistake, Nigerians will eat rats and rabbits off the streets. They will be hunting life you know, it, it will be them like in a war situation. I am telling you, you see, next, next year, the budget these people have made, you know, I listen to uh, uh, economists, and, you know, as soon as this uh, Ukraine-Russian war stops, <laughs> Russia is going to pump oil with anger. And when they pump oil with anger, that oil might come down to $20, uh, $20 per barrel. And they pegged that... Uh, 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 this into seventy uh, uh, dollars for this present budget. So if the budget have deficit of their 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 earnings, imagine. You know. So I just want to make that clear before I continue, because Nigerians they are taking this as a joke. I listen to Odele Mamudu, the kind of people that are deceiving people right now. I listen to him, and I heard what he was saying. And if Nigerians listen to all those nonsense they say and make the same mistake, I will have no pity for them. Most of us in the diaspora, we we partake, we, we don't partake in their suffering. We are just here making sure that these people can live the same kind of life we are living over here. Okay? And for you to open up your eyes clearly and say you don't want good. Uh, what, who am I to come and uh, sorry for you? 
Who am I? Politically, they are, they, they are well educated right now. So if they make those mistakes, before I used to be very, very peaceful for market women. But what is happening now? APC is using women as their tools because they know how powerful women are. And if those women allow themselves to be used and they destroy the futures of their uh, futures of their uh, 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 children, I will have no pity for them. Seriously, I will have no pity for them because all these things going on, um, uh, the 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 oil oil theft, we it's it's been going on for years, and these people know who they are. And this is another thing. If Peter be concerned today, and he tells me that he's not going to prosecute those that have been doing this, make sure that all the money in the end, no matter where where it is in the world, he don't bring them back. He has said it himself that we will we'll lose every month seven hundred million dollars. Is that kind of money? He tell me he's not gonna chase. No. That can't be possible. That can't be possible. Because we, we, I tell you, all of us, we know the problem of Nigeria. Everybody knows the problem of Nigeria. And it's easy to solve. It is very easy to solve. Look, you, you, you just showed a video where they said they are threatening uh, Tompolo. And he says, there's nothing about that. This is what we're talking about. That, he said, I respect him as a man. He said, I am not going to hide anybody. I'm going to make them visible. If you are money enough, face me. That's what he means. That's what he means. And those are the kind of people. I said it when they give him this contract. I said, it is bad on Nigeria to do that. But... I can see if he's genuine, I can see where he he's coming from because he knows the terrain of that area. He can, he, in fact, he knew, he knew all the people before they gave him that job who were doing that business. He missed them there. That's why he goes direct to where all those things are. Look at the way they, they, they connect all kinds of pipes. I question the ship that came to Nigeria. Because you, you're just like a, an airport. You can't just land on an airport without clearance. Exactly. The same with ship. Exactly. The same with ship. So who is fooling who here? They need to get these people. They need to get these people. What is happening in that country? It's unbearable. That's why I, I was, throughout the last three or four days, I haven't come over to this place because I, I was very angry. When I, I watch news, listening to what is happening, I, 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 I am very angry. I watch on the, the TV today where they sent some people for maritime study in Philippines and they abandoned them there since over 10 years. Since over 10 years. These are the kind of people, if they train them, they bring them back and they start training others and making our maritime uh, uh, security and whatever. Self, look at what is happening. No, sec no, no section of the, of the country, I mean, the economy or security, no section is working. And men are walking about, doing whatever they like. If you, if you come to work, they're threatening to kill you. For what? And the youths, the mothers, the fathers, everybody's just looking. How many are these people that are terrorizing us? How many are there? So when we talk about, uh, 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 I don't even want to go to uh, the rallies or whatever. I, I, I prefer to deal with the real issue. I prefer to deal with the real issue. Because all these people, when you listen to them, you see them, it's, it's like they're acting movies. This, this very time, it's like they're acting movies. We are watching movies. So you uniform for for Riley? For what? Going to market, forcing women, forcing people, 
If you don't do this, we lock up your shop. Who gave them that authority? Who? This is this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. It's it's so sad when you when you you hear the amount of money we we losing, and they they getting this and they're not ready to start getting this name getting these names out. You release Boko Haram's. You you exchange them. Nobody, no the 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 names of the the the, the people sponsoring them. We have not had it. They dead. And yet you went on a swap deal. 28 to, I don't know, 100 and... Is that, is that live? And some, some of them come on, te on television to boast that nothing will happen. That nothing will happen. This is a man who, when they, when they sack him from a, 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 a National Health Service, he refused to go. He's working with terrorists. And these are the kind of people... Please, I just want this this government to end. I don't, I, I don't even want to know who is coming in. But when they come in, if we stay allow them, I will have no pity for these people. Because when I'm seeing what is happening, the way people talk, even the people you th you think they should be with you, the way they talk, it makes me mad. It makes me real mad. Before I, before I came to this uh, 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 channel. Right? I have nothing to do with Nigeria. I just listen to the news just for my own consumption. I have no faith. But it's coming back right now. I have faith when I came here, bossing, thinking we're going to do it. But right now, the, the real campaign has started. I've, start, I've started hearing things that I shouldn't hear. And that my, the doubt is back. I'm not hiding it. The doubt is back because there are some certain things happening. And you listen to them. You, 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 you question yourself and question those who are around there. Let I say this. If, if Upito B don't win the whole South East and South South, forget it. I'm saying this. If he didn't win the whole South East and South South, forget it. Because their mathematics is in the north and the southwest. And if we cannot make that statement, let us not say we didn't know. Let us not say, oh, we regret. Because we know what is to come now. We know what is to come. It is very, very... In fact, I, I, I even managed to come on, on to this place today to speak. Because, you know, for very um, four or five days now, I listen to things. I listen to the economy. I see everything going. There's no hope for Nigeria, except, except they do the right thing. Like you rightly said, it's not that Bito B is an angel, but he knew. Not that these people don't know. They knew the same thing he knew. They knew the same thing he knew. Okay? That's why he came out to say, look, if we can stop this, this will happen. If we can do that, that will happen. All of them, they know this. And he said it himself, that all of us is going to say the same thing. But the trust is the difference. Who is going to do it? That's what he said. And that's why I believe in him. I believe he's going to do it if he gets there. Because he will have no escape route. Look at what fraud is doing to people. People dying all over the place. Economy stands still. Because of inefficiency of the government, they had agreements with Cameroon, but you never invested, you never done anything there. If I'm Cameroon, I will open that water, let it swallow the whole Nigeria. It's, 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 that, why, why are we in this chaos? Why? Why? It's, it's, it, it gives me heart, heart, heart ache. It gives me heart ache when I, I was in Nigeria today. Tell me the, the amount of money they destroy. And those individuals, they will have nothing from the government. Nothing, no help, not even sorry. Not even sorry. And tomorrow you see them shout APC, FFF, FFF. Mm -hmm. it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. When I look at people, even if they, you are forced 
Show that sign that you are forced. Show that sign that you are forced to come out. Make a noise. MC or whatever he's called. He cannot kill everybody in Lagos. He can't. Actually, I'm going to leave it here because um, yeah. it's, it's, it's very worrisome. The, the, the condition Nigeria is today is very, very worrisome. And we need to pray for Nigeria. Very we worrisome. Need to, we need to make sure these people start listening to economic news. Because if they know what is coming, if they know what is coming with this present budget, all of them will do the right thing. Thank you. I tell you that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chooks, you're so spot on. Thank you for sharing that um, with us. It's just, it's just baffling. Like this is, well, like the video I shared with you guys. They said it has been happening for nine years. I mean, that is what we were told. So only God knows for how long this has been going on. And they keep saying the country is broke. The country is broke when this amount of money is being stolen every single day. They said in total they've uncovered 58 illegal pipeline planted in Delta and Bayelsa State. 58 illegal. So do you want to imagine the, you know, the barrel, the barrel and barrel of crude that this 58 pipeline produces and they take out of the country or for exportation or whatever use that that, that that they use this thing for and they keep saying the country is broke how is it possible that this kind of thing is happening and let's say shell is not doesn't know the dss doesn't know the federal government how is it possible that all of these parastatals do not even know what is going on and like i said before i really feel since peter will be started talking about this oil theft thing this oil theft thing, that all of a sudden they started doing their check, they started doing, they started on cover on the covering, all of these things. It's just, it's just, it's just like I'm speechless. It's so painful that how can somebody be this colors, like Mr. Chuck said? How can people be this colors? How can people be this wicked? How much you feel chop finished? How can somebody be this greedy, be this selfish at the expense of people, at the expense of human life? You keep doing this every time this is so painful for nine good years nine good years if it's not even more than nine years how is it possible that this has been happening and nobody knows about it nobody talked about it nobody raised an alarm over it how is it possible it's so it's so heartbreaking and when you see the crowd coming out for their for the same people that have been oppressing us for the past seven years when you see the crowd when you see and you're like oh my god are these people okay then the most painful part is the respectable people you look up to, the role models, the the, the actors, the, the respectable ones that people look up to, that the younger generation look up to. You see them marching for their oppressors and you're like, she will never they call up for this country. Like, I do not understand. How can you be happy suffering? How can you be happy seeing people suffering? How do you guys sleep at night? It is depressing. I understand you, Mr. Chuk. Sometimes to talk about these things, you're just so tired. But we cannot get tired. We just have to keep doing what we can do. We just have to keep making conscious efforts. Because these guys, they're not a relent. To this power, eh? they want time by all means. So that is the reason why we have to keep doing it. We have to keep striving. I know so you're not easy. Sometimes it's depressing. Sometimes you're just tired. Sometimes you're just like, what do they even worry these people? People where they kill you, now you're the wrong go meet. But we just have to keep doing it. At this point, we don't have a choice. We just have to keep doing it anyhow. We have to continuously speaking, making conscious efforts, keep talking to people. Make them understand that if you say your vote, you automatically lose the right to complain. Automatically, you cannot say pain because they don't buy you for the next four or eight years, depending on their tenure. So guys, please, not, let's not get tired. Let's continuously do the little we can do within our means and capacity. May God see us through. This kind of news eh, is very, very heartbreaking. You just see things like this and you're like, see the market swimming, see the people clamoring, see the actress and actors and you know, God, it's, it's, 
is, is, is depressing, honestly. It's depressing. But thank you, Mr. Chooks, for you know lending your voice to what we're talking about today. I appreciate you. Please don't be depressed. Please try and come as much as you can and keep lending your voice and keep talking. People are watching, people are listening, people are understanding you know we are getting more conviction by the day and like i stated earlier guys please let's not get carried away i understand so many people feel oh, peter will be already get momentum a lot of people know about peter will be yes that is true but at the same time let's not get carried away i have begged let's not get carried away maybe we continue to do what we free do let's not get carried away these guys are not ready to leave that power for anybody so we have to continuously do what we can do within our means thank you all so much and god bless you guys please help us to like and share this broadcast if you are yet to do so and please hit the notification bell and subscribe to our platform if you are yet to do so and do not forget to use the dollar sign to the right of the comment section to support what we do here thank you all so much and god bless you i can see you say every monday tomorrow dion right there thank you so much jeku obedience is also right here with us thank you mr jeku tony osawe i see you good evening to you thank you so much for joining I'm the finest of all. I mean, finest. Thank you so much um, for joining. I appreciate every single one of you. God bless you. I can see Divine Cross right there. Message that day. I see you. Thank you all so much, guys. God bless you. I really do appreciate you. Let's move straight to the next person we have here, which is Madam Rita. Madam Rita, good evening to you. Thank you for joining me today. Good evening, Kachi. Good evening, um, everyone in the panel and the comment section. Um, <laughs> Mr. Chooks. <laughs> Good morning, sir. You know what, you know, the feeling Mr. Chooks was expressing is what I think somebody has said it um, earlier in this panel, like maybe some months ago, it's called PTSD. You know, a lot of us are going through um, PTSD from the state of Nigeria. You know, when somebody has been continually abused, left, right and center, you know, it gets to a point where when you see something good, it's you start to have doubts. Today you have you know, the energy and the enthusiasm. Tomorrow is like you just, your energy level just goes down when you just hear something disappointing. The next day is half, is half full. And the other day it's high up, you know, it's high, low, high. It's just PTSD. And a lot of us um, are also experiencing the same thing. But, you know, but what I've come to realize is that um, the only way to solve this PTSD is, to, is for us to start speaking truth to power, start calling names, and start facing the demon. You cannot keep running away. You have to face that demon, exercise it, and then you move forward. You know, so that's why these feelings come up and down, and this anger comes up and down. Um, the only way we can do it is encourage those people to get their PVCs. That's the only way we can um, channel our anger and despair to. That's what I feel. So... Mr. Chooks, please cheer up. Everybody, please cheer up. What we are going through is PTSD. They say the first step to uh, the first step to um, ignorance, or rather, the first step to um, enlightenment is agree is 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 um, admit admittance of ignorance. So, um, I also, I will also say that the first step to healing is for us to admit that there's a demon in our front, and we have to we have to demolish obliterate expunge that demon that's just the only way that's what i feel um you know how can i start from Fla sangwa song government magic you guys should go and listen to that song government magic what we're experiencing with tom polo and this so-called oil theft is government magic nigeria wake up and smell the coffee what we are experiencing is government magic and that is part of the PTSD that we are going through, you know, our feelings all messed up. And, you know, sometimes we don't have this um, belief that, oh, uh, Peter will be, Peter the Rock will be, he will win because I cannot say he's not going to win. He is going to win. So that's why they pull out all those punches of bringing fake people like MC Oluomo and the fake so called celebrity or stars. As far as I'm concerned, a star we get is light from the moon or this is the sun. So without the sun or without the moon, the star is dimmed. So those people you put call stars, they are, they, are, they are nothing. They are just deemed objects. They are, they are just fake. So when people start putting, oh, my mentor and all that is, please be your own mentor. Look for your parents. Be your mentor of yourself and be proud of yourself. 
don't look up to all these celebrities. You see, they are exposing themselves now. They are coming out like little demons. But we will exorcise them. Make me not worry. We shall exorcise them. Um, government magic, that is what is happening. And there is a comment that uh, somebody said, I think in the um, is it channels or Arise News, says, uh, Arise News that says, um, what is killing Nigeria is oil theft. My people, what is killing Nigeria is not oil theft, for Christ's sake. It is not oil theft. Bad rulers, bad leaders, cacristocracy, unaccountability, lies, thieves, nepotism, impunity in the highest order. That is what crumbles an economy. There's no accountability. So what Nigeria is going through now is PTSD com combined with autopilot. Everybody's doing things their own way. And then you have a constitution, a so-called constitution, constitution that is sitting out there. And then people say, we're abiding by it. We know that the constitution and the laws of Nigeria is selective. It is very, very selective. Now, um, you know, when um, you talk about this tampoon and the oil tape, if it was a, a society like, for example, in the United States, first of all, somebody like Tom Polo would not, I repeat, would not be at the top of this, in, this investigation. Number two, if they had an independent body that doesn't look at anybody's face, by now we should have seen multiple arrests, multiple shutdown of businesses owned by this, the aristocrats, the high and the mighty in the society, the people who, who, they will even trace where those pipes were bought from. They will trace the engineers, whether they're local or not local engineers that fix those pipes. They will trace where those pipes were, but they will trace the factory where those pipes were made. They will check, trace the owners of those uh, um, and ships in the high sea. They will trace the, the, the makers of those, those um, uh, uh, ships in the high sea. They will trace it down. There's no arrest being made. So what we are experiencing right now is government magic. I, will, I refuse to have this PTSD of Nigeria. At this point in my life, at this point in our lives, we should just put that PTSD in one corner. We should just start facing these people and start calling the names. Tom Polo came on Arise or Channel TV to say, I have a list of people. Man, Tom Polo, go and sit down. Tom Polo is part of this cartel. Nigerians pick up and smell, smell, smell the coffee. He's part of this cap, uh, uh, cartel. He has been part of Nimasa from, from day one. He said he has list. Why is the list not out? Why are we all just listening to these people? These people, these are serious human beings. I, I want to be very, very respectful. This is Niger Watch. I, just, I have to abide by the rules because um, I'm trying so hard to abide by the rules. Um, whether they say they have 42 pipeline tomorrow, don't worry, they will tell you 68. By December or January, they will still you have discovered 1,000 pipeline between Biosa. We've not talked about those states. We've not talked about Potakot or Aqua Ebom. This is just, they're just doing the Biosa, the Delta. It's government magic, my people. All this one, let us just, let us not focus on. To me, I'm not really focused on Tom Polo and this government magic. I'm focusing on putting Peter the Rock Obi as the next president of Nigeria. That is that is where my my main focus is, and um, you know, talking about um, doing Okupe, you know, you know, Labour Party, you know, he he's the Labour Party under the auspices of um, Peter the Rock Obi and and the Amedati. They have said they, they are pace setters, you know, that they are pace setters that have changed the trajectory of how politics will be played in Nigeria. Let, that's just what it is. APC and, and PDP, let them keep copying. You know, you know, it's it, it, they have run out of ideas. So they just wait for Labour Party to just do something. So they just oppose it and copy it, and then they just okay, let let us let us do it our way. Okay, see us now. That is a, a very you know they're not talking about economy. They're just bashing this the, the uh, Peter the Rock Obi continually. They're just bashing the uh, bashing the ob obedient uh, uh, youths, even the older ones. They're just bashing. Look at that. Um, that terrible woman that came on national TV. What was she doing? That, that woman, she was, in fact, she's demonized as far as I'm concerned. And we have to exercise all of that. I keep saying it. There's a lot of demons surrounding these people. So they're not seeing what we are seeing. You know, so the only way to exercise them is to boot them out by the ballot. Even if we know by PTSD that the ballot is flawed, but we will still try our best and we will win. We are going to win. I'm, I am saying it. I am declaring it. We are going to win these demons. Uh, as per the Archbishop, you know, the Archbishop Emeritus, you know, he was spot on, you know, 
you know, we cannot, uh, we, I mean, he's not sitting on the fence. This is what I'm talking about. We cannot sit on the fence. And that applies to every leader, every religious leader, whether you're Muslim, Christian, or you belong to a traditional institution or a Hare Krishna or whatever. You cannot sit on the fence at this point in time. We cannot sit on the fence. You have to declare because Nigeria needs to be exercised. Nigeria is too demonized. We can't sit on the fence. If you, if you, if you know you stand for the truth, you stand for the light, you will stand by Peter the Rock Obi. You will stand there, whether you're a Muslim or a Christian, whether you are uh, Igbo, uh, Aousa, Bini, Ishekiri, or whatever, you, will, you should stand by Peter the Rock Obi. If you do not, or if you're sitting on the fence, then you will know that you belong to those demons. That is the truth. You cannot come as, uh, uh, as a sheep and you, you are a wolf inside. No, we will root you out because, it, because we know that the God that is standing, that is spreading this fever of Peter Jerokobi is the God that will make sure things are changing in this country. Nigeria has to change. Winter is coming. All of you in diaspora right now, you are feeling the heat of the cold. Most of you go to work at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Then you will not stand and see be supporting APC and PDP. I don't understand. I don't understand. I just don't get it. We guys, we need to sit up, wake up and smell the coffee. If you need to send money to your people, to, to go and get their PVCs, do it. If you need to sponsor somebody to, to uh, monitor, you know, the day on the day of election, we got to do it. We got to do it. This is not a um, joking matter at all. This is not joking matter, you know. So it is what it is. As for the budget, well, what does that tell you again? We're still going back to the PTSD again. We are still going back there. What kind of Senate and Federal House of Rep do we have? They are errant boys and girls. That's what they are. They are part of the Kaaba. Some of them even are even part of this oil theft we're talking about. They own some pipes there. As long as, back to the oil theft, as long as there's no arrest being made, within the past few days, we have not seen one single person. In fact, it was in America. It will be on CNN. It will be everywhere that they are arresting one big man. They are closing one, one big man's house. If what if it's 419 now, all these Yahoo boys, if they'll be very quick. Okay, now they'll be very quick to put them on camera. Very, very quick. That is government magic, Nigerian government magic. So as long as there's no arrest, I am tired and sick and tired of hearing Tompolo come or investigation or telling us there's 68, there's 42, there's 200, there's 1,000 oil pipe, for Christ's sake. Show me the owners, the makers of those oil pipelines. Bring out the names. Bring out the names of the people in the high seas. Nigeria is not going down because of oil theft. Let us not get it twisted. Now, oil theft is not, I repeat, not killing Nigeria. What is killing Nigeria is evil men taking over the hems of Nigeria. And that is what they call a kakristocracy. Evil men. We have evil men controlling Nigeria. Evil men. It is not oil theft at all, my people. No, be oil theft, though. Don't be deceived. It is not oil theft. We have evil men. Evil men controlling the entire system in Nigeria. Evil men. So we have to boot out this evil man by voting Peter the Rock Obi. I say, sit, beat it, eat it, sleep with it. It's Peter the Rock Obi. Let us start talking about getting PVC. Let us start talking about how we are going to encourage those uh, market women. I don't blame those market women on the villagers. I don't, I don't. What we have to do to reverse that demon is to start preaching to them. It's to start supporting them, making them realize in our different languages that this is what is happening. This is what they're using to deceive you. My mama, my papa, this is who you should vote for. This is the logo of Labour Party. That's that's all. That's what I have to say for now, my sister and my brothers. God bless you all. Hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much, um, Madam Rita. Like, you literally just said everything. Waiting again, we're meant to talk. Yes, you really made sense because the truth is, it's actually very frustrating. But at this point, let's put our let's channel our frustration into the right angle right now channel that frustration into make sure into making sure that nigeria works again how do we do that by keep uh, continuously sensitizing people talking to people to go get their pvcs if they've not gotten their pvc let them understand that they should not vote these people make them understand the reason why they have to vote for labor party show them the logo let's that is the only way we can channel this frustration into the right angle because trust me and like madame rita said Evil men, I just they rule this country. Evil men, people that do not have conscience, people who know just get hurt. 
they just they are just after themselves and that of their families just to emancipate wealth for themselves money whether they you go use do it i know no so please let's just channel that frustration into the right angle don't get tired though like she said if it means you supporting your people back home with money to go down to where they need to go get their pvc because it's not easy you go stand for hours if it means you supporting them in any way please do that channel that frustration into the right part now beg with a beg channel that frustration into the right place because these guys like i said before they're not ready to leave power that power they sweet them they just like to subdue people they just like to be to lord over people so they just enjoy it so please guys let's not give them the opportunity to do this to us come 2023 yes i saw somebody's comment saying oh why would they still be clamoring for those other people not then not then sabi made it one let's do our part may those people where they clamor for who they are paymasters let them continue clamoring let's do our own part we have to do our part and what do we have to kick these people out kick them out with no mercy because these guys they do not have mercy on us so we have to kick them out without even thinking twice about it it's so frustrating honestly so 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 annoying guys please help us to like and share this broadcast if you are yet to do so please help us to like and share and i beg go me kuna support us by using the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what we do here now beg with a beg i just said i should quickly put this on the screen for those who have not collected their pvc data right there august october november please go and get your pvc Please get your PVC. I need no go count how many people come match for rally. I need no go count how many people where they support Peter Obi with his mouth. I need no go count you even if you they campaign for Peter Obi for nothing tomorrow. I beg. If you never get your PVC, go and get your PVC. Get your PVC. Let's make conscious effort. If you they go market, go buy pepper. Get into a conversation with your pepper seller. Start talking to them about what who they need to vote for. Show them the logo. Do anything you can within your power, within your capacity. So make sure you spread the word. Now beg with a beg. These guys have weaponized poverty in such a way that if they say jump, this market people will say how high. That is how they have weaponized poverty. Please, guys. Please and please and please, if you can hear me, if you're yet to get your PVC, if your people back home, any one of them are yet to get it, even if they've registered, please, please, please talk to them to go get their PVCs. Support them in any way you can so they can go and get their PVC. Thank you all so much and God bless you. Please help us to like and share and please support us by using the dollar sign to the right on the comment section. Thank you all so much and God bless you. We're going to go straight to the next person for today which is Mr. Machiavelli. Good evening to you, Machiavelli. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thank you, my lovely sister. And good evening to you, everyone. Good evening to all the panelists and good evening to the concerned citizen. I've been listening to my lovely sister, Sister Rita. She spoke so very excellently. And, you know, I was speechless because to add to that, because that was a, the a most thing I've just, I just sat down listening to her and I look at the whole Nigerian uh, political atmosphere and the way it is. I think we really, we will, we will have the PTSD, the post-traumatic distress uh, 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 disorder. It's really, you know, unlike somebody like me, I have always think that Nigeria will be better if our people understand that there's a dynamics that these guys are using here. My first question is like, do you guys mention the word, the, the name Tompolo? <laughs> In the Niger Delta, this person is a very, a, a very, you know, how do I, everybody knows who he is. But my question is, what is he? Who is he? Is he part of the government? Does he own any office in the government? The answer is no. So he's just a normal human being, just like you and I. And everything is entrusted to him now. This is a national resources. 
and it's supposed to belong to everyone, right? Everybody's to enjoy it because it's theirs. Now, if you look at the role that that guy is playing, then you ask yourself, where is the NMPC chairman? Who is the minister for petroleum? What is their job? So we now start looking for somebody. The person now is not telling us that he knows where this thing is. Like, are we serious? Like, let's just take a look at where everybody lives in diaspora. Does he actually walk like that? And we call ourselves a democratic state. People just embezzle money. And another thing you have to ask yourself, this all year, the uh, bunker they discovered now, it just automatically came out all of a sudden because of it's all politically motivated. That is to tell you that, oh, this government is trying to do everything. Now they want to start, but Ajaukuta, this Ajaukuta, I've been hearing it a day all the time. We want to do this. We want to do that. These are things that they try to push into the, the public so that you think that they are working. Then there's nothing going on. Now for you to steal oil from a country, the Navy must know because for the ship to dock into that Nigerian waters, the Navy must be aware of who is the, who's docking it. We must all know this. Before anybody comes into Nigeria, if you fly into Nigeria, the, the, the immigration will be aware of who are you. They will know. So you cannot tell me before this four years we moved out of the country, nobody actually knows about it. No, because they want to tell you that they don't. They are intercontinental. They all know themselves. We don't want to ask the ministry and say, what are you doing? Why are you there? Minister of Petroleum, why are you there? We are not shipping it now to Tompolo to tell us what is going on. You look at it. This is a nation of about 200 million population. More than that. We cannot continue like this, to be honest, my brothers and sisters. We cannot. Like what Sister Rita said, exactly. That is just the fact. You can't take it off. Because we keep, when we come here, we talk, people will believe that like, you need to talk to your brothers and sisters at home. I'm begging it. I speak to different people every day. Please. Please. They are taking your right. They are taking everything from you. Just what, like what my brother said, Mr. Chooks. Exactly. It's true. When this, oh yeah, when this Russian war ends, hey, trust me. Trust me, it's going to be very difficult. Even the president himself acknowledged it from the last time when he sent the bill to the house. He acknowledged it. That is to tell you there's fire on the mountain. My brothers and sisters, we need to think twice. Are we really helping our generations like this? No. You see the rally the other day. This is somebody leading the rally. Ask him where is his children? They are all in the United States going to school. But he is campaigning for the party that has left your children, my brothers and sisters, in solitary confinement. They cannot go to school. So you are actually taking their right from them, making them to be blind. For they not to see your atrocities. That's what they start is telling you. You are busy forcing people to go and get to go and you know do the rallies for you. Otherwise, they're going to be penalized in a democratic state. This is what we should be asking these people. We are supposed to have our own conscience. We are supposed to vote. And our vote can be counted. And not to be intimidated. Just because we believe in what we want to believe. This is what we need to ask these people. All our, our monies are moving out of the country. We have an accountant general. 
almost 9 billion. And they are still adjourning the case. This person is still residing in Abuja. We have the other cases. Desiani and Co. Using our money to buy gold bra. To buy gold bra. With all due respect to my lovely sisters and my mothers, I respect you guys a lot. But I'm not using it to mock you. But this is our sister using our money to buy herself an underwear. On the way that you can see for just as cheap as anything you want to call it. But he's using the money that was supposed to be made for you and I just to buy common underwear. This is the same people, the same government that you are campaigning for who gave pardon to some of our brothers and sisters who stole our money. But where's the money? They didn't bring it for you. Are we not going to think? Are we not going to think about that? This is the same PDP spokesman, Dino Melai, who was to who was to be in court, and he was telling you that he was he was he had asthma. He is vibrating now for his principal. He said unifier. He said unifier. But you cannot unite even your common, your political party. Your political party is in disarray. And you are telling the, the electorate that you want to govern 200 million people? How does it work? My people, how does it work? And I, this is one thing I love about this speech I will be. He said, I'm not contesting as a president. You are the one contesting. He gave you the mandate. He gave you the zeal. He gave you the hope of being Nigerian again. To determine your future. To have that sense of belonging in a country where you were born. To eat from the national cake. That is what he's telling you. Brothers and sisters, can we just wake up one day and say we want to go and vote these parties that has put us in this solitary confinement? That rats are not eating our money and snakes are not swallowing our money. Then our, our president run into the United Nations and start pleading that they should please think about our debt. I never told Nigerians how these debts were taken, how they took these debts and what were the terms and conditions. My brothers and sisters, we should think about this. They tell you that you ha don't have a structure. You were those talking on the social media. But yet they are trying to use the same strategy you are using to campaign against them. So they now understand that you are the one giving the education. You are no more receiving the indoctrination. So please, my brothers and sisters, don't play to their fingers. Let us believe in the hope that they always told you. The hope of a, no, a young Navy lieutenant that is bravely patrolling the Maycom Delta. The hope of a skinny kid with a funny name that believes that that Nigeria has a place for him too. That is what you are. That is why all of you, including me, we come here to speak each and every day to tell you that the country belongs to you. Of course, a lot of people are going to say, yes, we need money. Of course. I gave you an example the other time how the Gambians liberated their country from the hands of Yaya Jame, who is now in exile. They fought tooth and nail. I was with my fellow brothers and sisters in Gambia. I looked at their strategy. This was the same strategy they used to say enough is enough. The diasporans were trying to channel their energy to motivate those back home. Do not give up. 
because the door to paradise is about to open. They yield to that call and they believe in it. The diasporans were spending their money and yet they achieve their goal and send Yaya Jammeh to Guinea Conakry. And they told him, enough is enough. The democracy belongs to us and Gambian belongs to the citizens. Please, my fellow brothers and sisters, we must go back to our drawing board. Why did I say this? Because these people we are going to try to take the power from, they are not sleeping. They are doing their homework. They are trying to weaponize their, 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 you know, their ground. They are weaponizing their group. So all we need is to keep on pushing this sen sensitization. We need to push hard. Let us take the phone and speak to our brothers and sisters. Try to energize them. We need our PVCs. That is the power of us to liberate ourselves to a true democratic process. That is where we can now have a taste of the national cake. Because you cannot fight these people with arms. They are tougher than you. The only way you can do that is to vote them out. Get your PVCs. Let us try to, you know, galvanize this. Encourage our brothers and sisters. Let them show us the PVCs. If we want to sponsor them, let us do it. Because we all are in this suffering. Don't say because you live in diaspora. Because as of today, the dollar is just 780. And the pound sterling for those who live there is just 830. Just imagine the bag of rice you are going to buy for this Christmas. So your $100 or your 100 pounds or your 100 euros will not get you there. They will still ask you, brother, you know, Rachel, so for us not to go into this stress, like what my, my sister said, we need to start working. We need to start telling our brothers and sisters, we must buckle our shoes and we must be ready to fight to the end. Like I told you, I am a Nigerian first. I'm a Plutorian second. My home is my home. Thank you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and God bless every one of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Machiavelli, for that wonderful um, submission of yours. Anytime you speak, we all listen. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Guys, please help us to like and share our broadcast if you were yet to do so. I'm waiting to have now. We don't day almost two hours now. Nobody don't super chat us. I beg, gonna super chat us now. We can use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to super chat us to support what we do here. I beg, we gonna do something. We gonna shake for them. Thank you all so much, guys. I appreciate you. Um, please don't unmute yourself. Please don't unmute yourself if it's not your turn to speak. It's a man of prestige. Can I can I speak? My battery is running low. I'm not at home right now. Okay, yes, because I already called on you before, but you wanted me to move to the next person. So if you were ready, you should have just sent a private chat to say that you were ready. Um, that you were ready to speak. Anyways, thank you so much, everybody. We appreciate you guys. Please help us to like and share and support us by using the dollar sign to the right of the comment section. Thank you all so much and God bless you. We're going to go straight to Man of Prestige. After that, we're going to go straight to Omoyes Corner. Man of Prestige, please, you have the floor. Um, <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Emma. I mean, thank you. Kashi. Nice to be on this platform. Yeah, it's a privilege. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody, wherever you are. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start with the pastor. You know, um, I think I think his name is John, or I don't know his last name. I mean, I don't know where he's based, if it is based in Nod or Abuja. But anyway, um, the man has spoken well. I mean, people are still misunderstanding the whole thing about this Muslim Muslim ticket. But in my heart, I still believe, you know, there was there's something that has been lacking in the previous elections. The Muslims has always known how to mobilize when it comes to this election. And the Christians, they have not been doing what, you know, they have not, 
they haven't taken it the way the Muslim, you know, has, has been taking it previously. But from the from what I'm gathering this time, I think it's going to be different. You know, the Christian is going to be speaking in one voice. You know, but to what extent um, would they vote for Obi? But I think, in my opinion, you know, I think Obi will get a majority. There's, there's still going to be some uh, some Christians that's going to support the other two parties. But I think it's a good improvement about what's happening. That it's about time, you know, they vote and I'm speaking one voice like a Muslim does. So I mean, just no way you're going to have one particular religion, really, you know, rule in Nigeria. I mean, I don't really mind, but in a Nigerian space, I think everything needs to be balanced. It doesn't matter who it is, but in that regard, I just feel like. That wasn't the proper thing that you know um APC did. So no need of talking about it or just making noise. People just have to go, you know, and speak, you know, and speak it with their vote. That's what matters. It's not about how much noise you make or how much you speak. But I'm glad they are speaking in one point. But I hope, you know, that can be actualized during the voting time. So that's my submission on that. So let me go back. Um, let me go to the one about um the OE theft. Yeah, that's what some people don't realize that was this oil theft, you know, because this oil theft poses an existential threat to the Nigerian to the Nigerian economy. Definitely, I mean, if you look at what's happening, there's no way a nation can, can sustain if half of the revenue are being studied. Like, um, like our principal eloquently stated. People in the government are behind this oil theft. There's no way. There's, because somebody is there monitoring everything going on. I mean, if you come and steal oil, you have to, you know, you have to transport it through the shipment and somebody has to, somebody has to sanction it. So all these people in the government, they are aware of what's going on. It's just go, it's not coincident that we just said it, then they decide to be doing something. I don't believe that's what it was. I mean, I would say just coincident happened at the same time. But in my own opinion, I think they are doing this right now because of the election. I mean, trying to deceive people that like, like they're going to do well. I mean, they don't know about what's going on already. So it's not something new that will be just said right now. They be, you know, they come and say, okay, we're going to start to do what we're going to do. But for how, for how many weeks they're going to do that? After the election, they will go back to their normal, you know, what they have been doing. If they happen to win, which I don't expect them to win by the grace of God. So they know what they're doing. It's just, you know, it's just fake. You know, they're just trying to, you know, bamboozle the Nigerian right now for them to feel like they are doing. Because this has been going on for many, many years. Like you said, it has been going on for more than nine years. And what is the cost of this bunkering? I mean, there may be a lot of there may be a lot of reason that you know contributed to this illegal, you know, or your bunkering. I mean, some of them may be poverty, neglect. Of course, government greed, you know, and so many other, you know, so many other people you know, involved in the bunkering and lack of monitoring and sabotage. And mainly, you know, I can tell you that about 80% of this, all this besides some, some of them has, has to do with poverty and some of, you know, people living in that Niger Delta area and some of the river oil area. But the main 80% of this oil theft, if not 90% of oil theft, you know, government sanctioned all this. From head, from bottom to you know, like you know, from bottom to toe, they are all involved. They knows everything. They knows everything going on in the audit. So let's not deceive it. And you know, from what I read, Nigeria lost over one billion in oil theft, in oil revenue for one quarter of this year. Can you believe it? One billion. So this is where we don't have revenue. I mean, somebody eloquently said the other, the other time that. Nigerian problem is revenue. Yeah, revenue indicates that that the government is stealing all the whole money. Yeah, we have the more, we, um, I mean, we have the means to generate the revenue, but before it get there, they steal all of them. And, you know, and even at all, they don't steal all of them. When you give them a contract, you know, they will steal all the whole money. You won't get to the people that need it. So just Nigeria has a problem. I don't know how this can be cleaned up. So we need a good governance. That's the only thing that, you know, that we help Nigeria. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So that's my submission. On that so I think my I think the last one was about the APC four million match. You know, four million match. You know, match. Yeah, I mean, matching or no match, it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't make any difference. So at, at the day of election, people just need to go there and vote. Most of the from from the information I'm, I'm gathering, because if you look at the um the APC four million match. 
it was only done in Sioux, that area. The OB party, you know, I mean, uh, the OB Dante party was done in four different states in, in Lagos. So, and, and what they did was quite organic because this was organized. They, I, I read somewhere where they ship people from or your or and something like that, you know. So it's, it's purely organized. And some of them, you know, have been paid a lot of money, but it doesn't really matter how much they pay them or whatever. I think, you know, the final outcome is going to be on the election day for people to go and vote. APC is going to be doing all this, you know, cascading about what's going on, trying to emulate what OB is doing. I mean, like, on, I think another thing they're trying to do right now, they're paying some group of young men, I don't know if women involved, but I know they're paying some group of people to march from south, from southeast to southwest. They have to trek. They call it trek, trekking support. I mean, what kind of nonsense is that? So they are paying them. You can't tell me that people are going to risk their life and trek from south from east to south, you know, all the way to Lagos. I mean, what is that supposed to portray, you know? So, but anyway, that's Nigeria for you. We just have to go out and vote. That's right, you know, do whatever we can do. I'm doing my best, to, you know, to help people in Nigeria. I mean, I don't have any vote. So thank you. Bye-bye. Hey. Yeah. Thank you very much, Man of Prestige, for that um, wonderful submission right there. I'm, I'm really glad that you're doing your best, trying to reach reach out to as many people as possible thank you so much and thanks for your wonderful submission right there we appreciate you i want to say thank you to tracy jacob Queen. tracy as i cry you answer me now so god could answer you thank you so much for the super chat i really do appreciate god bless you may your pocket never run dry we appreciate you guys please help us to like and share the broadcast and also use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support us with anything you can support us with thank you so much and god bless every one of you i appreciate you guys i have a caller here on um on the phone um good evening to you sir thank you for calling today i'm doing well thank you sir please go ahead and make a submission okay so I'm uh, listening to when my cousin was talking on uh, my own before. So please, what I just want to say is that you need not to be distracted from this uh, all those APC and uh, BDP, uh, BDP uh, match also. Why? Because I was in Lagos today. I call Lagos. I spent almost three hours in Lagos today with my person that is doing something for me in Lagos. So, he told me that uh, the bad, the bad thing of them did not pay the go uh, uh, much APC uh, rally uh, or so. I said, why? They said they want to go and take their share. You know what I mean? So what I'm trying to let you people know that we need not to be carrying a way from all those uh, uh, money of the of APC uh, and BDP. I would like to use this opportunity to tell everyone that any match APC and PDP are carried on, OB is one third or rather half of that match. Why? Because they, are, they went there for their share. Because it's Nigeria money, it's not their money. So that's what I want to relate to people know. Okay. Many people should not be carrying away because of this majority, fail or no fail. Obedient people are tempting them to collect their own share because it's Nigeria money. That's what he told me. I said, well, well, if it is so, let it be. So let me go to that one here. That's the thing. Do you know when Obi was even talking? He has been talking about this very boy of it. In that one year of the story, it's not a suit. It's not a speech that you will put in your pocket. The three story by all those people that in government and we they are all afraid even though the people or rather the, the that, 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 that boy who went and you call a or I don't know what what is his name or no or, or, or because he is the one that he can never care that he doesn't know a bad guy from wrong 
you can hear it on the pipeline to government. Like, when will this country say, oh, yes, yeah, it's missing, oh, yes, yeah, it's They will be all afraid when this man comes to power tomorrow. That is why this political justice. This boy, this, this boy has been there for years. They know what is going on. That, not that they just know now. They know before. That boy knew before. The boy will know before. So, for him not to be grabbed, say, you will know before. It's that is why he has And he discovered this thing, not now, for years. Because he is a multi inheritance of all those things. I beg you, we need not to be distracted. God is in control, and God has is in this movement. I know God will see us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, God. Amen. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for calling. And also, thank you for sharing your experience with us, um, what you experienced in Lagos um, as you visited. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we're going to go on a quick break, and um, um, we'll go straight to Omoye's Corner. But again, I say thank you to Tracy Jacobin for the super chat. God bless you. May your pocket never run dry. Guys, please help us to like and share our broadcast if you are yet to do so. And do not forget to use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what what we do here god bless you let's go on a quick break and we'll be right back ah, yes so we can pepper 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 all right, guys, thank you so much. I don't know why I just like that particular video. So with your designers, prepare them. <laughs> we can have comedian. Thank you all so much for your time today. I appreciate you all. Please help us to like and share if you were yet to do so. And don't forget to use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what we do here. God bless you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let's move straight to Armour Yes Corner. Good evening to you, Omoyes Corner. Thank you for joining today. Hey, Kashi. How now? Well Thank done. You. Well done. Good job hosting, <laughs> as always. Thank Greetings, you. everyone in the panel. Man, Sister Rita has said everything, you know. <clears throat> now, it's more I want to just add. She has said it all, you know. And um, uh, Brother Israel, I believe also came in everybody has spoken very well and all the points are highly noted you know and i really like the way the fact the way uh, sister rita broke it down because that's really what we need right now in nigeria we cannot you, you know when you think about nigeria's nigerian uh, niger the nigerian issues there eh, it can be overwhelming sometimes and because uh, for centuries, for decades, um, people have been very complacent to evil thriving in the society. It just did not start overnight, right? It crept up because, you know, it kept building up and building up. And then, you know, they keep, si they keep silencing, they keep silencing the uh, truth tellers in the country, right? They keep silencing them. The evil keeps thriving. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's doing anything. If you do, you know, they silence you. So it became like a circle. So that now created, you know, uh, for lack of better words, you know, as Sister Rita said, PTSD. So people are just now, it's almost like everybody's trying to catch up at the same time. And we also have to understand there are, there are, um what's it called villages interiors that still don't even have this message they don't even understand because they live outside of the world the world doesn't really feed they they take care of themselves uh, hopefully you know these bandits have not uh, bandits have not taken taken over their area but for those who are still living the very simple life it doesn't they don't care that's the attitude if you go to the typical village where everybody is roasting yam yeah, going to the farm enjoying life, children are running around and all of that. They know they think all these things as we they think of, you know? So there's that. And then on top of it, there's no electricity. How many people, when you call home, sometimes 
and you're talking to your people, half of them don't even know what's really going. They don't really understand it like that because they don't have access to the light, not to talk of data. If you want to buy, you want to make a call, you have to buy buy calling card or whatever, right? If you don't have money, you don't make call unless somebody calls you. So there's a lot of hindrance for our people back home. And I know we can get impatient with them sometimes, but we have to think about these things like, the way we understand it, they don't have the depth of understanding like that. And remember, they cut out history too. I remember growing up with history class. I remember that. But most of these children growing up, they don't know history, right? And even the history that I was taught, I had to learn by myself. I had to read on my own. I had to figure out on my own. Oh, I say I understand. Oh, oh, oh. So say making sense. Like, okay, maybe this is why they don't want history to be taught. Because if history is taught, People will learn not to repeat certain patterns. What's been happening in the Nigerian political um, atmosphere is people have been repeating patterns because they see that the people before them have been getting away with literally anything. So they're just running amok. It doesn't concern them. That's why we're where we are. That's why it is overwhelming. But we cannot give up. And personally, I don't like talking about the issues because we all know the issues we all know the issues we're very familiar with the issues and, and some of us understand the psychology behind it we understand what these people are doing we know it is evil in 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 full form showing out in nigeria but because we know that's why we too we not rest right they want to do over time we will go do before they do over time we don't do like 10 times before them now so we have to wear them out. You to see, if to say, let me do, I'll just speak, I'll just move, just speak our local dialect for you so that they don't go understand what they talk. But you know, you know, let me do like that, right? So my point is this. The only person when we come out us for the Nyama Nyama when we put ourselves right now, na Peter the Rock will be. No other person. I don't know whether any other person they exist. I keep saying it. Every other person is not it does is not of concern to me. I don't care what they do. I don't care the antics because with all the money they've stolen, with a year trillion for here, billion for here, for where people did they delete, they, they die on the regular because of hunger. People they thief money like that, but you know they show for their body. You know they show for their generation. Their children you know they do anything good with them. Their children they turn to non-entity. That they become that they that they become burden on the society, that they bring bad name to their family. Which person want to take that kind of money do? To fear kwa, oh forbid. I would rather stay inside my house and drink Gary and granite hmm? than to have that kind of money or even allow it to touch my hand. That's just a fact. You understand? So let look at all the so-called worthy people in Nigeria. Because it is abnormal. To have a society like that and have billionaires, it is criminal. It is evil. I have zero respect for billionaires. Zero. I don't. In a society where people are hungry, can't afford three square meals a day, can't live the basic life, right? You cannot, you, you dare not call yourself a billionaire. That is that is evil in and of itself because that tells you that that person stepped on people's heads to get there. That's what it means. You took from the common wealth of the people to enrich yourself. Okay, so for all the all the other politicians that are coming out, you look at them with all the money they've stolen. You know they show for their body. You don't even see it in them. In fact, when you look at them, you realize that they smell. Why? The evil is reeking from inside. So you can't see anything that is good or appealing. You know, my focus, I want us to focus on how are we going to leverage with what we know to bring Peter Obi the win. That's my main concern. How we want to enter village, how we want to meet people, how we want to talk to people to bring the win to Peter Obi. Every other thing does not matter to me. What do we need to do? Who do we need to send money to? Who they run on for the villages? Who they run on for the towns? Who will go talk to? When go when go go into the interior and show people the the um 
different emblems and t-shirts or whatever they have, aprons and all, to give to these people so that on that day they know who they are voting for. That's what I care about because I know that we're going to win this. It's not going to be an easy fight, but we're already winning it already. So we should not, in as much as we think about all the theft and everything, we, didn't we know this before? This thing has been happening since now. And your so-called uh, uh, Bubu, right? He made himself Minister of Petroleum. So he's supposed to come and answer questions. If you're the Minister of Petroleum for nine years, people don't the thief. They don't connect different different ways to thief. Come and talk. What do you know? Do you understand what I'm saying? But that's besides the point. Me, I don't want to bog myself with all of that because that alone has it. It, it can cost my green. So what we need to focus on is getting the right people in from the top level to the lowest level. This means that everybody needs to be they needs to be involved in their politics from the grassroots. Your local government chairman, your House of Rep member, your legislative members, your judiciary members, everybody. You need to be, your eyes need to be on the ground. You need to be very careful in the selection, in the people that you're selecting to rule you. My concern is that a lot of all these people are running to Labour Party because it is the in party now. I don't want them to go and soil it with their bad attitude and their smelly ways. That's my own concern. Every other thing, it is what they've been doing. With all the money where they don't see if their, gen their money not they pass the generation. You don't hear about them again. Nothing. No generational wealth. Nothing. You see some of these people that had, that stole money, sold their brothers and sisters. You see their life. They are not literally nothing to write home about. There are people from wealthy homes, so-called wealthy homes that are coming out and resisting what their father started, right? I give you a typical example. There's a young man here, many, maybe about a few years back, his parents or his, his father left him millions of dollars when he passed away. This guy grew up regular, like his parents brought him up in such a way that they didn't, he, the world did not really concern him, but he chose his friends and the people he grew up with because he did not want the money to affect his, his uh, friendship with the regular people that he knew. He didn't want it. So what did he do? He gave it all away. He made news. He gave everything. It's like he doesn't want his lifestyle to change because if he does, he's going to lose his most valued friends. How I mean, see, you see Nigeria, a land of milk and honey. They have not even scratched the surface. Shebina oil, we they talk about. What about gold in the north that, that palm colored people travel with their private jets to go and pay cash and collect raw? That one, Unko, we never reached that one. No. There's so many things that are happening. So, what about our uh, trees that people are buying on the back end for charcoal? We don't talk about that. That's that's one source of income, revenue for Nigeria that people don't talk about. There's a lot of thiefery going on in Nigeria. We could not even talk about that. If we start, my sister, we we'll go sit down for a year. If for years to come, we'll still be talking about it. Let's focus on getting Peter will be there. That's all I care about. Every other person that is following, we hold all their feet to the fire now that we know better. And by the grace of God, when he gets in, he allows us in the diaspora vote. There's no way they can ever rig the election, never again. You know? So that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for, for, for this, and I appreciate you all. Thank you, Kachi. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Omoyes I, I, I mean, that should be the goal. The goal is to find ways to put this man right there. We should not be distracted or listen to naysayers and all of that. Thank you once again, Omoyes Kona, for always taking time out to do this with us. I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Victor. Mr. Victor, thank you so much for the super chat. I really do appreciate you. God bless you. May your pocket never run dry. I appreciate you guys. Please help us to like and share this broadcast if you are here to do 
services. So, and please, if you're new here, um, you're yet to subscribe to our platform, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you can always be notified whenever we come on air just like this. Thank you so much. And do not forget to use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section to support what we do here. Thank you so much. God bless every single one of you. To our lovely people on the comments, I see you all the finest of all. Irene Finest is right here with us. Ganyo Waleleg is right here with us. Uwabo Felix is also right here with us. Thank you so much for doing this with us. I appreciate every one of you. God bless you. The Queen Valerie, I see you right there. The Fosa Akembo, I see you. Tracy Jacobin, I see you. And also thank you for the super chat. Ganyo Walele. Princess Christian, I see you all. Thanks, guys, for your continuous encouragement to this platform. And to our lovely viewers watching us from everywhere in the world, thank you so much, guys, for doing this. We cannot spell success without you. We appreciate you all. Mr. Victor, I see you too. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all. Let's move straight to Just For You. After Just For You, we'll move straight to Ivan Finance. Just For You, please, you have the floor. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah, so I came a little bit late. Uh, I have been listening to everybody commenting. And uh, I want to say thank you, everyone who oh, is not giving up. Myself, I'm not giving up. Seeing what is happening in Nigeria, we don't have to lose hope. We don't have to give up. I believe, let me start with the uh, oil debt. Let me just start from that. The oil debt has been there from time to time. These people, they have, even though they are not directly involved or they are directly involved, they have percentage. So that is why it has been there for a long time. It's like a police, uh, a police, uh, police checkpoint. All the people you see in the police checkpoint there, according to some when that I interviewed, they say that if you don't submit big money to their guy in the boss, the, the, their boss in the office, they will remove you. They will send you to the office then put another people there. So they, they always make sure, even if you are begging them, they don't want to hear because they know how much they want to, they want to do well so that they will remain there. It's like that. The only theft is there. Federal government know about it. They have their own court. They have their own share. It's their own share. Then we talk about uh, subsidy. It's the same thing. All of them is the same thing. These are these between government to government. That is the way I see it myself. Is between government to government. And Britain will not be eluded from, the, from it. Nigerian government will not be eluded from it. So they have share in it. Though we have uh, other, maybe we have transporters and the rest of them, those are that are doing the business. But government, they know about it and they have share. So the oil theft cannot be, cannot be dealt with unless we remove these people. As we are talking now, the, the something is not entering their ears. It's, it will enter here, it goes out from the other. They will not do anything. If you block this way, the other way will be open for them. That is for the oil debt. It will be there. Oil subsidy will be there. If, if, if I thought somebody is coming and say you want to remove oil debt subsidy because without be saying it, it's just to deceive us. That is what, uh, 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 what they call it. Uh, uh, Buhari said before. He was even accusing uh, uh, Gulo Jonathan. But when he came in, you see the money there. Did he, did, he remove, did he remove it? No. If I tell you want to remove it, where is the money going to, the money that is, uh, uh, is going to be realized? What is he going to do with it? These are people that have been ruling us right from time, right from Babagida, all of them. If you trace all these things, you see that our leaders have been so wicked, so wicked. They don't have heart. Then I want to talk about our people who are going for these uh, 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 celebrities and uh, the rest of them that are going for rally and the rest of them, I believe majority of them, are, they are doing it because of money. They have sold their conscience. Because you see people that return 28 million for PDP, they are human beings. And I know none of them are paid, have, been, have paid that kind of amount. Who wants to sell his conscience? We still sell it. We still sell his conscience. If you want to sell your conscience, you will still sell your, sell your conscience. If you don't want to sell your conscience, we don't want to sell your conscience. Nigeria is on a life support right now. And if we vote the wrong person, I'm just saying it. If we don't vote the wrong person, I don't know how it's going to be. 
Because if you look at some comment of world leaders, some comment of people, prominent people, like David Cameron of, of, uh, of uh, Britain, who everybody knows David Cameron, uh, the ex-prime minister. He said the money looted from Nigeria for the past 30 years, if that money is taken from Britain, Britain will cease to exist. They will sink. Then another, uh, another person said, Af Nigeria is Africa money uh, losing machine. So how, are you, how is Nigeria surviving? We don't know. And uh, I think one of the, uh, one of the uh, um, uh, ambassador, I think it's British also, when he was talking about the Nigerian crisis, he said the crisis that, is, that Nigeria is handling, if uh, the country, is her country, it's a woman, her country, if one of it hits her country, that her country will not survive. And Nigeria is faced with a bandit, faced with a terrorism, faced with harassment, and all of that. About four, how is Nigeria surviving? This is the time, this is why. Why I'm bringing all these things now is that let us go back to, let us reflect our memory back. How, how are we going to survive all these things? Has God abandoned us? Or have we abandoned God? Because in all these things we have been talking, nobody is talking about God, nobody is talking about prayer again. I know because people are giving up. You prayed and prayed and prayed. Now that we are doing our best, I think it's right time for us to go back to God again. Because before we were just praying, God, oh, see us, God, oh, see us. And things remain the same and we don't want to change. Now that we are complaining and we are trying to do our best, I think we should bring God on the line again. Let us go on our knees while we are fighting this battle. Because the Bible says the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. Because the people we are fighting, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against principalities and power. These are people that are ruining us. And they went forth to say, if the righteous are on top, the people, they rejoice. But when the people, the wicked, the wicked and the devilish are on top, that are be ruining us, the people, they will mourn and we are be mourning. So this is the time for us to have a sober reflection and ask God for forgiveness and draw God to God for, for God to save, to save us. Now, I will say that God have raised somebody now whom everybody have trusted. Even the PDP, the APC, the Afghan, whatever, all of them have said this man is blameless, this man is qualified. Some are saying his time never reached. Is it the time of thief and the time of rogue? The time of uh, blood suckers, those who are making human sacrifice, is that the time that we say that is enough? So that is the reason why I am calling on everybody. Let us go on our knees and ask God, please intervene, help us. Because the strategy we are bringing, these enemies, they will use it as well. But I want to let us know, evil will never strive forever. The, uh, the Bible says, Sorrow and uh, come, uh, sorrow and joy for a night, but joy comment in the morning. These people they have expiring expiring date. It is it will take God time. God one day will wipe all of them out. So I am not giving up on Nigeria. I am not giving up. But let us try. Let us continue to work as we are working. And I believe God is hearing the cry of our the, the cry of the innocent. The people that are running Nigerians they don't have heart. Because if you check, IMF loan destroyed Nigerian currency when Babagda took that time. Nobody is talking about it. Nobody knew how the money, where the money uh, went to. And this is the reason why they are stealing. So they don't have, we don't have constitution. Nobody is obeying the constitution. So before anybody should, uh, should be sworn in, in Nigeria, there should be a way out. There, there, we should talk about how people should be sworn in. Because People do so many things and they, they go away with it. And that is why the one that is coming, that is why people are fighting to turn in to enter that place because they are going there to steal our money. So for our celebrities, let us not give up on them. People have their own opinion. They have sold their conscience. Judah Iscarot sold his conscience because of money. But one day they will realize that this same Nigerian we who are fighting for the better Nigeria, we are human beings like them. Money is not all the time money, money, money. But I want to tell you, when a thief comes to your house at a gunpoint, all the money you have, 
we give to the thief. And the thief comment in the, the comment to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is what the Bible says. So you who is collecting money, are you safe? Can you drive from Lagos to Ibadan? No. Can you drive from Enugu to Lagos? No. So this is the time for us now to tell these people that what they are doing is bad because their conscience is all about money. I don't think anybody in his rightful sense will still be, talk will still be talking about APC and PDP. I don't care about other parties. We can try any other parties, but the one I recommend for you, I know that 100%, if anybody will vote that person, Nigeria will rejoice. I don't have to take, I don't have to take much of your time. The only thing I want to draw you to the drawing board. Let uh, all of us go to God in prayers. As the older lady have said just now, I just picked that point, very, very important. What we need now is to go to the villages, print all these uh, T-shirts and banners and give and share to them. Because on that day, they may not even know the one they will vote for. So with that, there will be popularities in the villages. All these market women that uh, will be are drawing here and there. These are people that, these are vulnerables. And that is why Nigeria is classified as one of the most, uh, what they call it, uh, 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 where school children are dropping out, out of school. You know, the poverty capital of the whole world. Why? These are weapons they are using against us. And the people are still there. The people are still falling into it. Ms. Kachi, I want to stop here so far. Because we continue to talk and talk and talk. Okay. No okay. Yes. God Thank bless you. you. God bless Amen. God. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Just for you. I just want to quickly add um, something to what she said. I mean, it's not new because I've always said it on this platform. I'm a strong believer of God. I'm a Christian. I do believe that, yes, what God cannot do doesn't exist and all of that. But at the same time, I strongly believe that God has given us the power to do these things for ourselves. And he will not come down and do that which he has given us the power to do for ourselves. In the diaspora, is it God that is helping them fix roads? Is it God that is helping them have a working system? Is it God that is, you know, doing the basic things? Like I always say here, Nepal will bring life for Nigeria. People will still say, up Nepal, thank God. Oh God, I beg. May they not take the lights now. What which type of prayer be that? You they pray to God, may they not take lights. So these things are things that the almighty God has already given us the power to do for ourselves. So, yes, it's, all, it's good to always run to him, to talk to him, to speak to him because he's our father, right? But I, um, I also say that he will not come down oh, and do this thing for us. God, no, no, be God will come give us PVC. No, be God will carry us, go pulling uh, units, no, be go foot. There's no God that will make you cast your vote. So, guys, please. If any of your family member, any of your friends, your brothers, your sister, your mama, your papa, anybody, we don't go for, we don't already go, go register for PVC and you never go collecting PVC. Now the time you could begin to worry them with this, may they go collect their PVC. Please go and collect your PVC. Continuously speak to them to go and collect their PVC. Let them vote and vote rightly. Please, uh, please so let me let me let me say one thing here. You, you, yes. you see, the problem we are having now, okay? Yes. Why I bring God in the in, in this scene is that God can look at PDP now. There is Katakata now. I don't think PDP will even win it. This uh, they will not go anywhere. There is problem already. God can set them to be enemy of themselves because if you watch this problem now, we are talking of this thing. The real problem is INEC. Go and mark my word. INEC is our problem. It's our headache. Peter Obi have already won this election. No matter these uh, paid people, there are people that you pay there, they will go and collect your money, they will still vote who they want to vote on. But the problem here, the problem is INEC. Do you remember that uh, they say that uh, people who died in 1990, their names were seen, Chinese names were there. Uh, China and uh, India and uh, yeah, Japanese. Why we have to do our part, Mister, just mm -hmm. for you. We have, we have to do our part. We have to do our part. See, 
distractions will come. These people will devise new means every single day because they don't want to leave that seat. This is that power they intoxicate them. They don't want to leave that seat. This is the reason why we have to do our part. Like aggressively, self. Like when we know they look at anybody face, I know they look at your face as I dig here. See, on that day we go day their life and their red. Eh? When if any may nothing they happen, we go do our part. We have to do our part. I've always said it. God will not come down and do for us that which He has given us the power. Anything you can do to support your people to go get your PVC, let's do it. Like what Mr. Ninja Watch was saying. See the QM, the Q to even register to get your PV to even register first of all, to place of getting PVC, the Q will not be here. Sometimes you might even go there, spend nine hours, and you might not even succeed. You might not even you might end up not even collecting um the pvc but this is where we all come in we need to encourage people anyhow we can support them financially to aid them to go to where they have to their collection center to collect their pvc and make sure continuously sensitize them make them understand because these guys will keep devising new means like i said they will keep doing everything they can do in their powers to make sure that they come on top on that day that is why we have to do our part. Not be God, they give light to where you go say up in path. God, I beg, or may they not take light. You know, they work like that. We have to get it right. This You're time. very right. You're very right, yeah. anyway. We have to get it right. We have to. It's good to talk to God in prayer, but we will also do our part. Now, action time is this. We have to do our part and make sure we don't get distracted. Please, I beg, no time to waste. This will not be time to whine or do get get down, be depressed, or have some sort of self pity on yourself. No, this is exactly what Mr. Niger Watch was saying yesterday. Please, we have to support in any way we can to make sure people go to their to their collection center and collect their PVC. Because not the only way be this so, not the only way we we do this thing right now. We we'll go shock them as the talk say we no get structure. As the talk say Peter will be now online uh, uh, president, we will come show them and say, okay, oh, people where they online are human beings too. People where they online are human beings. They will not be robots. So please, guys, I beg, make we do our part. Let's do what we can do. Continuously, like I said before, for those people in Nigeria or anywhere you are, as you go market, go buy pepper. Eh? Get yourself in a conversation with the pepper seller. They ask the alpha, you know about Labour Party, who you go vote, this and that. Show them the logo. Make you know, make a conscious effort because this time around, there's not be time to sit down. No. These guys are not playing, they want to get power by all means. So we have to do our part. We have to do our part. Please now beg at the beg. I beg. Let's do our part. I want to say a big thank you. And also when they try you, everybody where they watch us. So even the comments, see you guys are doing your part by even lending your voice on this platform on the panel you guys have been doing such an amazing job and i applaud you for that you know easy at all thank you so much but we know we'll stop if you feel double your efforts if you feel triple and anything you know see so you feel do within your capacity please let's do it thank you so much and god bless you please guys help us to like help us to share this broadcast if you are yet to do so thank you so much god bless you and please support us by using the dollar sign to the right on the comment section god bless you on that day i neck do any hard they go collect what to do anybody will do any high you go collect times seven if you do any high, if you do one we give you seven so people are ready people are angry people are tired of the situation of the country, the situation that frustrates person. To be honest, uh -uh. if the situation not frustrates you, that means uh, not only God knows that you they live for Pluto or you they live for Mars, but the situation is frustrating. Thank you all so much and God bless you all. Let's move straight to the next person we have here for today. So sorry guys for the help, but I'm going to go straight to Irene Finest. Irene Finest, please, you have the floor. Thank you. Ah, got you. Hmm. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, panelists, commenters, our secret viewers, and all. Uh, in fact, where I want to start now, it's not even what I wanted to come and say before. I want to start with our brother that just finished. 
There is a place he said uh, we should go on our knees and ask God for forgiveness. We do respect us. Sometimes when you want to ask for forgiveness, you have for forgiveness based on you even realize that you committed something and you want to ask for forgiveness based on you will not go back to that thing that you're committing. The people that are supposed to ask for forgiveness, it's not me and you that is talking here. It's not people that are watching us. People that have pockets our country, people that have put us in this situation, people that make us in that's right to be stuck here. Many are scared to go home for them not to be kidnapped. Some are scared. They don't even have the money. You go home, money you will budget for two months or three months. You cannot, two weeks, you are, you are gone. In fact, with so many reasons, people are scared to their bone. Even people living in Nigeria, they cannot easily walk freely in the street at night. So we ask for forgiveness. Our politicians that are supposed to ask for that forgiveness, as you can see, you can see them, weak, their wickedness, they are gallivanting around the whole street as if nothing happened, coming back again with full force. They want to come and tell the fire. They are not tired. They don't even care about me and you. They don't even, they, it's not their business. They don't even realize that they are committing something. So who will ask for forgiveness? Who? In fact, you see, that prayer issue, yes. Niger you know how many years Nigeria has been praying? In one street in Nigeria, you will see more than 15 churches. In one street, some use canopy. Some use one completed building. So, in fact, so let's, if, you, you and I come from that country now. We know how you your prayed. So all the whole of that prayer that they have been praying, it's like God have not said, oh, in fact, let me pity you people, since you people don't know what to do for yourself. That is why he brought Obi. Now, he's bringing Obi for us. Instead of some of our people to wake up, they are still there singing hallelujah, selling their birthrights like uh, Jacob and Esau. Running Heather Skater, today they are here, tomorrow they are the other side. Some of them still don't even know where to stay. They are their price is still on the tray. They are waiting for who will price higher. I mean, do, you know, sometimes discussing Nigeria issue can be so can be so frustrating, can be so draining. Today I joined the, the brokers with a very low mood. My energy was so down because it's not it's not easy to discuss Nigeria. It's exhausting to discuss Nigeria issue. Trust me, sometimes I don't like to watch Nigerian news. I don't want to listen because you must get one thing or the other that will get you angry, that will make your blood go high. Like my sister said earlier, majority of them in Nigeria don't understand this thing the way we understand it. They don't see it the way we see it. Many of them are born and brought up into that situation. Nigeria is, was 62 years, few days ago. The issue here is that there are people that are 62 years old that believe that gov governance is supposed to be the way it is. Because they have never even from Lagos traveled to Ogun State. Some have not even from Benin City to travel to Lagos. They have been parabolating around their village and their, and their capital city all their life. It's because you and I are out of the country. We have seen a system that is working we know that you're not supposed to beg for light. You're not supposed to pray for light. You're not supposed to. In fact, sometimes you listen to some ridiculous testimony that come from Nigerian churches. Do you listen to it? As a matter of fact, Nigeria have made church in such a way that many, do you know there are some people in Nigeria, they go to church seven days in a week. When they come to Europe, it's like they, forgot about, they forget about church. They don't have that time. They are occupied working, looking for money. And that is what brought me to this broadcast earlier on. Because of the uh, rally, it's actually what I wanted to speak about. I don't want people to really be too carried away with rally. Some people might not like this thing that I'm about to say, but I will say it. And as all of you know, I am 100% obedient. What I don't want us to be is obedient. I want us to be obedient. That is what I want people to know this evening. Because when you talk certain things, some obedient are easily so emotional, they react the way they react. I understand perfectly. Emotion is very high. People are suffering. People are dying. You know, the issue here is there, in, there, are, so many, there are so many nonsense out there that when you look at it critically, there will be a sense to take. For me right now, I watch people 
that uh, you know, their job is to criticize, their job is to lie, their job is to bring out some old video things that have happened before. I watch them because I cannot be easily be manipulated. I am focused and stable. I know what I want. I know who I am opting for. If you know that you are not strong enough to watch all these things, don't watch. If you know it will confuse you, we that have the mind will watch it and come and download it for you here. Why am I saying it? When you watch all these things, there are some things you will hear that might help you to re-strategize, even though they are our enemies. Sometimes there are still some secrets that we escape from them that they will leak, that probably we have not been working on. We will still take it and use it. One of our Labour Party uh, spokesperson said it the other day. I can't remember the name of the guy, one Northern guy that is among Labour Party spokesperson. He have a grant a few it's a numerous interview with Arise and Channel Television. The guy said there is something that Reno said that they thank Reno for saying that that they have gone to 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 work on it. Reno is a strong opposition, as all of us know. What I'm trying to say here is not everybody that open mouth to talk about obedience, you shut them up quick, you insult them, you did. No, allow some of them to talk if you have the spirit to catch them. Sometimes, sometimes God will push them. They will make a mistake that will be in your favor to say something because a lot of evil plans are, hid, are going on at the backstage that you and I don't know. Especially with that, at least in the diaspora, any information that is coming from people that are on ground, watch a lot of video. What whether they use comedy, whether they use any, you watch a lot of video, listen to a lot of things. You must have something to take. Why? Because you are more exposed than those people. They might come out and just open my wire to say something. In most cases, you will have something to take from it. In this issue of PVC, many people are angry when somebody comes out to say uh, 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 some of our youths don't have uh, a uh, um, PVC. Some of our youths have not collected. My dear, it's true. We don't have to be angry about it. What we should do about it is how to converse because for the ones that don't have now, we cannot do anything about it anymore because the way to do it is closed. What we should do is how to work on those ones that register right now that have not collected it based on maybe one stress or the other. Maybe they travel, they have changed location. We have to try. If you have somebody, maybe did something carry the person to travel to somewhere else, it's not very difficult to go. If it's transport or anything, you can help. You can tell this person that the need for you to go and collect your PVC, no matter the kilometer, we understand there might be kidnapping, there might be problem. Don't worry, God will guide you because God see what you're doing. That is where prayer should come in. Not that we should come and pray for something that we know we can do for ourselves. If you if it's your relation, if you want you to send the person money, transport, go back, go and collect your PVC because your life will rely on that right now. Because I can't be killing myself inside the court to feed you all my life because I have my family to also cater for. Not that tomorrow you will come and say, since you start getting married, you know they remember family, since brother married in wife now, which in husband now bunny. No, it doesn't work that way because we too we are dying here. It's not funny. People work tirelessly. People did advance house boy and house girl work here. Things that ordinarily you will not do in your country. Many people are doing it here. People are going to farm, plucking orange, plucking tenjari. Many people are here taking care of old people, changing diaper. I will have to say it raw as it is. Nigerian people need to know this. There is a lot of pressure. If Because if they can do something for that country to be okay, the way here is okay. The stress, the burden we reduce from us that are living in diaspora. We don't have to be angry about certain things that is coming from people. Just listen if you can carry it, if you, if you have the mind, as Elia said. Because recently, I've been watching some videos of bloggers that go out of the streets in different states in Nigeria. Honestly, sometimes I watch some, I, sh I was shocked. There was one, the boy openly said that he's a student. After telling you all the qualification of Peter will be the reason he want Peter to rule, and uh, why what he know he will do, why know he will do the hundred percent confidence. Offer the blogger to ask the boy, do you have PVC? The boy said no. Then how will you vote him? How do you want him to change the whole of this thing that you are saying? The boy said, I don't worry, that will not be problem. That day I will just go there and put my fingerprint down. How can you put a fingerprint down when you don't have PVC? How can? I have worked from Lagos State, I've worked from Kano, I've worked from Sokoto, I've worked from some, there are some, they will just tell you, I want so-so-so candidates. Why? They don't have reason. 
So we tell you because it's from my side. So we tell you because I like him. One even went as far as say because he liked the other, he liked one of the candidates' name. So that is to tell you there is a lot to do. The crowd out there, lack of unemployment, lack of employment is one of the things that you are seeing in most of this rally. Because people that are actually working, the way they are pumping out, I'm not saying that most of them that are pumping out, they don't know what they are there to do. Why, why, why the lack of unemployment coming is that there are so many people when obedient come out, they are there. They don't even know what they are doing. They are doing, they just want to have fun. They want to dance on the DJ music that is moving. What are they doing? Yeah, an obedient rally, they go join. Tomorrow they hear say PC, they pass. What is that they do? Now APC on a rally, they won't go dance. They, if they are sharing water, they want to take from it, they will, they will join. If they hear it's PDP, they will join. Because people are jobless. Why am I saying this? I'm not saying we don't have crowd. Nobody should misquote me. Yes, we have the crowd. The crowd are there. As you can see for yourself, uh, obedience did. Everywhere was packed out. They did, MC Elomo did his own that day. Everywhere was packed out. Uh, Atiku did yesterday in uh, Uyo. Everywhere was packed out. Lack of employment is among all these things. What I'm saying here is that rally cannot win election. Election is won by numbers. How do we get that number? By your PVC. Go and collect your PVC. Go and collect your PVC. At least if you don't have employment now, be useful to yourself. Do something that will create that employment for you in future. How do we achieve that? We have to keep talking to these people. And if you have anything beyond talking on this very uh, channel to do to achieve that, go ahead and do it. You don't have to be angry because somebody says so or because another person did not say so. Ah, why will you say that? Well, we don't already win. We don't already win. No, you don't win the election by saying you don't already win. It's by number. That is how the, the North have caged us over the years. They will not make noise. By the end of the day, you see they will come back again and hijack us. We have been living like a slave in our country all, our, all, all these years just because we are politically dumbass. We are too gullible in the South. We are too docile. We have to wake up. I am not saying that our youth are not waking up. Honestly, I applaud them 100% for the move they are making right now. But now, we cannot come here and say, oh, be done ready win. What I am trying to say is we have to double our effort, triple it if possible, because a lot of strategy is on. Number one, Labour Party, as we all know, Labour Party has not been there. Like this APC and PDP, that they are, they are, they are, they are money back party, they have been on power for so many years, exchanging hand to hand. They are almost the same thing, but with two different names. But Labour Party has been there. They are not as rich as them. They are, they, they, the people there have not uh, already been corridor of power by them, which is a bit disadvantage playing for us, which all this reason, we have to see that reason that will make us to triple it to make sure we work so hard to flush out these people. Because if not, we can sit down here singing hallelujah when a uh, uh, pastor has never said in Jesus' name. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. We need to work it out. We need to do what it takes. If for you in diaspora, if you have PVC in Nigeria before you are here, if it's possible for you to buy your ticket, go home and vote, go home and vote, you will see that your own will not be only be one vote that day. Your ability, your exposure, your intelligence to help to coordinate things in your poly unit will go a long way. Trust me, if I have PVC, I have the money for tickets, I will go to Nigeria and do the one I can. Because we are talking about the future of our children here and our own future. So let's not, let not be too emotional about this thing because I am tired every day in the streets, in the house, everywhere. You see, we are busy attacking each other. We obedient, bas, bas, bas. No, I don't want us to be obedient. I will repeat it again. It's better we, we, we just have to be, or be intelligent, not obedient. Don't sit down looking at the rally, tell, telling inside yourself, inside your parlor, we don't already win, we don't already win, nobody win election like that. We have to work it out. We have to. Enough is enough. Thank you, Kachi. Hey, Irene, Irene, two seconds everywhere, boss. You just cut everywhere, two seconds. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You know, to ring that bell when you ring. So now you just make Mr. Alexander Gomez just a drop super chat. A drop super chat. A drop super chat. 
Miss Alexander Gomez, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. I mean, fineness to you too much. Like you drop and you they drop them as they hurt. And I see you they drop them. No wonder you they tell me, say, catch my body, they hurt. I beg, I need to contribute. Thank you so much for hitting the, the nail on the head. Make people understand, say, rarely not being the win election. Jesus Christ, no go come down, come carry your hand, make you go vote. We need to do this one by ourselves. He has given us the power to do this for ourselves. We need to do it for ourselves. Thank you so much for that reality check right there, Irene Finest. I really do appreciate your submission. That was mind-blowing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks to Mr. Alexander Gomez for the super chat. God bless you. And thanks to everyone who has super chatted us today. Tracy Jacobin, Mr. Victor. Thank you guys. I appreciate you all. And those wonderful people on the comment or our panelists, always coming out here to share your ideas, lend your voice to the course. Thank you. And to our viewers, I say a big thank you to you guys for doing this for us, doing this with us every single day. We have a caller right here, uh, Mr. Toberi. Good evening to you. Thanks for calling. Please go ahead and make your submission. Okay, yeah. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Nigeria. Good evening. Good evening, good evening the, the panelists, good evening, uh, uh, you viewers. Uh, so, my own contribution is that um, I just tried, uh, like, uh, this is our sister, uh, this is our sister, we just true, uh, we just finished. Uh, Irene Finest. Uh, Irene Finest, yeah. So, um, sister, you, like, the way you, the way you talk, uh, the way, I like the way you talk, uh, the, um, the way you say, uh, approach everybody here, uh, we understand. But I want to make you understand, sister, eh? like this uh, uh, PVC issue, there's a uh, rally one day. I don't know whether you watch her. That rally, eh? all the old, everybody will did that rally. Almost everybody showed their, their PVC. Mm. So, yes, as I watch I forget to share that for you. Mm. I, I don't forget. So right now, I want to make uh, some people know that this uh, uh, 2023, 2023 election that you just come in very soon now. Like it's not it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Nigeria are a table. If you see some uh, uh, the, the other day they see uh, uh, the return and then uh, start they see ten people say may they call it may they come collect their uh, PVC. Those PVC owners say they never collect eh? now those most of those people will, will get get that PVC most of them don't travel and most of them don't die. Then now then now nah, some people say who who they die they who they die they die who they depart they they depart you understand know, so dead be so for me I'm not afraid of say uh, 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 obedience don't have a PVC they don't have that they don't no for me at least they, 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 everybody have PVC now few people feel they don't get PVC and the other lady when they uh, when they come out the other day our uh, uh, those sister when call a talk for this that, that lady don't collect they don't collect money they don't settle around. Now they can't call the thought that they try to feel like they ain't there. No, it's not obedient. That lady don't collect, you don't collect money. Even that lady said, you will cause problems from another platform where I did. I did the WhatsApp. Then, if, even though the people who are there, they are people who are there, they come make everybody know that lady don't collect money. You know, for me, anybody, man, no, man, like, I'm not afraid. I'm, 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 I'm not I'm not feeling this, this courage. You know, so I want to beg everybody. This uh, election, it goes too strong. Uh, in Nigeria, already. How uh, if it happens to Nigeria? Compared to everybody, same in Nigeria, it's ready. So, uh, like for me, I'm not afraid. You understand? There's no article and uh, an article as we spoke yesterday when uh, 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 our brother left this come online. As we spoke and call yesterday. I'm not afraid. There's no time we will go and have to take with this election. People don't have dreams. You know they have to. 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 Okay. Okay, okay Mr. Okay. Tuberi. Okay. That's why I go drop enter inside. You know they have to. So that is my contribution. Thank you. We God bless you. We God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Um, Mr. Tobori, nobody they talk about fear. We're talking about reality here. Yes, I understand that we all, you know, if the election won't hold, na 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 na, we will say make Obi win. If not mouth that they use, but this one not be mouth again. Not be mouth that they use in election. Not be Radley. Not be who talk pass or who who like Obi pass. Not be Catching. the Catching. 
Kachi, please. I I just come. I want to, if it's possible, I want to respond to the guy. Just one minute. No problem. Speak to respond to him. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. You see what I what I just said just now. If you listen to my speech very well, I said we don't have to respond with emotion, and and I did not say anything to discourage anybody. If you listen to my speech very well, it's a speech of encouragement and a speech for you to sit tight, tight your belt. In fact, if you're if the whole day number six before tight and well, put up for the number where you know see oh you where you know say something they pay you. I like your courage. I support your courage. I want people to have that courage you're having. My dear, I did not say people not get PVC. I didn't say so. The way you saw a video where everybody has PVC, I am telling you that I have also watched a lot where some people don't have. But those people, they speak the biggest English to tell you what will be with you, how they love will be with all their heart, how they want him to go there. But you don't use your mouth to send to be there. So my message is more of to people that don't have this PVC and people that don't want to vote. And I want to tell you, please, in this platform, we give information with fact and figure. Don't come here and allege that somebody collects money. I don't know the lady you are talking about. We, we if you if you if you are not sure of it, because that is where emotion come in. Because when somebody speak. There is a way the person will talk because you don't like what the person say. You conclude that you have taken money. It's not necessarily it's everybody that take money because somebody might be listening to me now and say, eh, I didn't find it's not take money. No. I am only just trying to make us see reason. Rally don't win election. You don't sit down in your parlor because you have seen rally. You see some people. Nigeria, we have 200 and, some, 200 and something million people in that country. Then when you see 50, 50 million people with PVC, my brother, we don't need to go like that. If it's possible, let 180 million have that PVC. At least when we don't share the vote, we will know how many when obedience will get for inside. It's not enough for you to see 1 million people showing their PVC. No, in a country with 200 and something million uh, 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 people, population, and we have how many candidates? We have more than 10 presidential candidates. Forget the fact that we are hearing only four in television. Before those small, small parties will come and share from inside. My brother, Reason, study politics, study Nigerian politics and study electoral, how politics work. When you study it, you will see what I'm talking about. Leave emotion out of this thing. All of us want the best for Nigeria. But let's study it and do the right thing. That is where I stand. Mm -hmm. I, I support your courage of not being scared, of knowing that everybody get PVC, which I disagree. At the same time, I'm not saying that everybody have or everybody don't have. But let's do the best we can. That is where I stand. Thank you. Hmm. I'm in finance today. Catch fire today. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I support you 100%. Not be mad that they use win election. Not be rally that they use win election. Not be say I too love OB with your mouth. Not be that they use win election. I've said that before. If you have any of your family members, your friends, your brother, your sister, anyone at all, you know, say don't, don't register for PVC and you never collect. Do all you can within your capacity. Make sure that the person go collect the PVC and always try and as much as you can to sensitize people, talk to them, make a conscious effort. These guys know they tire out. These people, they don't want to leave that seat of power. They sit, they intoxicate them. They like to have that power to keep, you know, doing things above the law. Because for Nigeria, if you do get money like that or you do get power, you don't get above the law with that. So these guys are, will do anything possible to make them remain in that seat. This is the reason why we have to do all we can. Double our effort, triple it, quadruple it if possible. Anything you can do within your means, within your capacity. So make sure say people go collect their PVC. So make sure say you continuously sensitize people. You can never get tired of it. Please, guys, let's do the right thing. Let's do the needful. Let's continuously do it. I know say no easy. I know so when they try, but please make we continue because these people, they're not tired. They're not tired for this suffer. So far, when Nigerians, they suffer. They just want to keep sitting down there and enjoying everything that the country has to offer. They will just sit down there, just they command whoever it is they want to command. 
Meanwhile, their children they graduate for um, America. Um, their children they graduate from London. Their children they graduate from Australia. Asu is still on strike. Oh, today is 10th of October. Oh, since February, people children still their house. So this is 10th. Oh, Asu still there on strike. A lot of other pending issues. So which one? Where we want start from? If we talk all the problem where they face Nigeria now, we're not going to finish them. That is why I said God will not come down and do for us that which He has given us the power to do for ourselves. The man where they upstairs, that man where they are above, where would they call God? He don't to bless Nigeria. He has blessed us with all we need, you know, to prosper as a nation. We just have evil devilish, greedy people, right? They will just vow, say they don't want to see Nigeria work. But God will shock them. We go shock them. We go shock them on that. They show them, say we not be robots. So guys, the only way we can do this is to make sure you go get your PVC. Let's get our PVCs and do the needful. I beg, I beg with the beg. Thank you all so much for doing this with us. God bless you all to everyone on the comment section who is always here with us. You know, typing, sharing your views your ideas with us thank you so much i see you on my yes corner um i see you the queen valerie i see you um, bunny face is it okay K. amazing grace usa i see you all thank you so much for doing this with us god bless you i see the finest of all right there irene finest thank you so much mommy diaspora okay mute i see you to the queen valerie i see you um monday or more i see you justin emmanuel thank you for joining us today i really do appreciate you guys please let's continue to spread the word spread the word according to um irene finest don't be obedient. I beg. We don't be obedient. Be obedient. Don't be obedient. Now beg with a beg. You do the right thing. Do the needful. I see you right there, Sam Sky. Thank you so much. Guy on Walile is also right here with us. Bella Naomi. Thank you so much for doing this with us. I appreciate every single one of you. God bless you all for taking time out to do this with us. Mikey Rabo, I see you. Thank you so much, guys. Tracy Jacobin, I see you right there. Thanks, guys, for doing this with us. Now, God. Will continue to the blessing now. Osaye Were Monday or Morodian. Thank you, Alexander Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Victor. Thank you, Femi Bash. I see you. Traditional home cooking. I see you. Efosa. I can board. Thank you, Princess Christian. I see you guys. Just in case I forgot to call your name. Don't get offended, guys, because we have a lot of comments and sometimes I might skip it. Thank you so much. And to our lovely panelists who have, you know, come out here to share their views and to lend their voice to this. Thank you, guys. Madam Rita, Mr. Chooks, um, I'm in finest on my yes corner. I was here earlier. Thank you so much for doing this with us, guys. I really do appreciate you. Man of prestige was also here, Mr. Machiavelli. Thank you, guys. God bless you. I beg. I hope this, I hope this thing will ginger us this night. Make we do it till we feel do. Talk to your people. Don't get depressed. Don't get frustrated. I know in Nigeria they frustrate person, but uh, we go show them and say we pass them. We will not be distracted. We refuse to be distracted. Thank you, guys. Let's quickly go on a short break and we'll be right back to give our closing remark. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Don't distract us again. If you distract us again, I'll say more things. That Nigerian, when they see you, they will pour you hot water. Because agreement is agreement, yo. Agreement is agreement, yo. Let me do what you talk. You can't be changing topic. Agreement is agreement, yo. Because agreement is agreement, yo. Agreement is agreement, yo. Make we do what we talk. You can't be changing topic. Agreement is agreement, yo. Okay, guys, we are right back and we're going to be giving our closing remark, guys. Please help us to like and share this broadcast if you are not here, if you're yet to do so. Like and share, people. Like and share. Please help us to like and share. And if you're new here, Paraventure, you just stumbled on our page or something and you are yet to subscribe, help us to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always be notified whenever we come on air just like this. Help us, help us to like and share our broadcast people tell a friend today about ninja watch tell someone to tell another person about ninja watch let them come here let them learn let them 
get sensitized. Let them understand what is happening around them in our beloved country called Nigeria. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Like and share. And do not forget to use the dollar sign to the right on the comment section. I say a big thank you to everyone who has super chatted us today. God bless you. And you guys know that we are also on other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Yes, we're on Instagram, Ninja Watch, blog on Instagram, and also on TikTok. Please check us out. Follow us on Instagram and follow us on TikTok as well, guys. Thank you so much. And don't forget, we're here every day, Monday through Thursdays, 5 p.m. Nigerian time for a discussion just like this one we're having. And every Friday, 6 p.m. Nigerian time for our debate. And Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. Nigerian time for our newspaper headline reviews. Endeavor to join us, guys, where we dissect and talk about the headlines of most of the newspapers in Nigeria. Thank you, guys. God bless you all. I really, really appreciate every one of you. Let's move straight to Madam Rita to give us a closing remark for today. Thank you. All right. Thank you, uh, Kachi. My, 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 my dear sister, Irene Finest, you are, you, are, you are such a beautiful and intelligent woman, and I'm very proud, you know, that we have somebody like you here. Um, the word... The word for today is um, obitelligent, you know, thanks to Irene yes. Finest. That's, that's the word for today. And um, let us be intelligent about this politics. Let us be intelligent about this government magic, you know, that's going on. Let us not be distracted with this Tompolo and 1000 pipeline and whatever. You know, that is not... Um, that is not where we are project. That is not where we should be projecting on. What we should be pro projecting on is changing the system, and to change the system to stir up the engine is is by bringing somebody like Peter the Rock Obi of the Labour Party. I just want to advise you: if any one of you is making any T-shirt, or you're making pens or paper or whatever, please make sure the um, Labour Party logo showing the check mark where they're going to turn print. Make it very large on the T-shirt. You can make Peter Obi's name around it or just one corner and do the same at the back of the T-shirt. That is what we should even be um, distributing to villagers, you know, people in the rural areas, you know, people in the market, you know, because those are, the, those are where the numbers are. Those are where the numbers are. So that's what we should do. And whatever PTSD that we are going through, uh, we will overcome it. You know, we will overcome it when, P when we get our PVCs and vote for Peter the Rock Obi. When we speak about Peter the Rock Obi, when we advertise him. I am so glad that my sister Irene Finest, you know, expressed herself the way she did because Nigerians do not like to listen to a soft voice. Nigerians do not get it when you, when you talk to them in a very soft manner. Nigerians get it when you are forceful about it. It might seem aggressive, but that is the passion. This is not being aggressive now. That is the passion. So we ought to all get that same passion in changing the status quo of where Nigeria is right now. So if you are listening and some people will say, oh, this lady, she's not aggressive. You cannot um, um, take out a demon by saying, hey, hello, demon, how are you? Are you okay? Did you eat agbado? Did you eat uh, corn? Did, when did you travel to Dubai? No! You cannot take out a demon like that. So, Irene Finest, thank you very much for the way you um, express yourself today. You know your composition was spot on, and then uh, this is what we need. This is this is how this is how Nigerians get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is how Nigerians really get it. You need to speak out passionately. You're not insulting anybody, but you're speaking out passion that people can get it. Nigerians do, 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 do not understand soft voice. Nigerians un understand this when you are very aggressive and you are speaking into their medulla or blaganta. They need to get it. Even the ones who are listening, who are part of APC and PDP now, when they hear us talking, when they are dreaming, they will remember my, what my sister was saying. They remember Omoye, they remember Mr. Chooks. You need to be aggressive so that Nigerians get it. Because this Stockholm Syndrome that has grasped Every person, including these so-called celebrities that you thought they were responsible, it has grasped them. You can imagine these ones are living in the city. Now you can just imagine what happened in the village or the people who are gullible. Do you understand? So we need to speak up, speak up aggressively to change the status quo. I am not in the business, like I said earlier last week, I'm not in the business of soft pedaling 
any uh, any uh, um, any persons from APC or PDP or, that's, or, or their supporters. I am not in the business for that now. We need to rescue Nigeria, and we cannot do it by handling it as uh, with with kid gloves. We have to do it aggressively, res res responsibly, and we have to do it with facts and figures. Thank you. Ha! Bless you. I mean, friends, don't wake everybody up. Thank you so much, Madam Rita, for that. She talks in her, hello, Agbado. How, do, how was your trip in Dubai? Did you eat corn? And I'm not going to kill me for this platform. Thank you very much, Madam Rita. Thanks to everyone who has contributed so far. I mean, friends, thank you so much for saying it the way it is, for putting, that, putting it out there, bearing your mind on this platform. I'm sure people will not forget this broadcast in it already. Thank you very much. We're going to go straight to uh, Mr. Mr. Chooks to give his closing remark. Thank you very much. Mr. Chooks, please, you have the floor. Yeah, thank you once again. Um, and uh, I, I want to use this opportunity to thank the sisters that I uh, have spoken. In fact, uh, it's no wonder um, that uh, women are on top of um, anything that is good. Um, you know, when they were doing history in Nigeria, I think uh, in my primary school or secondary school, um, we read about the we read about the Ababu riot. We are all Nigerian. Stood up. You know this kind of uh, impunity that is going on today in Nigeria. It didn't start today. During the colonial time, the 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 colonial masters. You know, our men couldn't handle them. Then the women, they stepped out you know, to rescue this country. And I'm calling on all mothers, if whatever they are giving you today, think about your kids. Think about the ones that are yet unborn. Because if Nigeria doesn't get better, if you like born 20, all of them will be waste. It is empirical. If we don't do something right now, Imagine all these kids that are out of school. <laughs> no problem, oh. no problem oh, when they go start. There will come a time if we don't rescue this country, whereby they will come to your house, tell you what they need, and you have to give them. If you don't give them, your life is in danger. So I'm calling on all women to think back because every good thing comes from women. There's one uh, uh, program I, I watched where they ask two boys, who is most important in the family? One says the, the father because he's the head of the family. The other one said, who born you? Now mama born you. So our mothers, they are the ones that take care of us from feeding us, from cleaning the houses. These are the word of this boy I'm saying, not my own words. He made it clear and he won the, because they set it as a, a competition. So, and he won it. So mothers, I am calling upon you. Do not allow these people to deceive you. If you make things work today, you will stop being a market woman. You will be able to train your, uh, your, your, your girl child to be responsible, to take care of you. This is completely as easy as ABCD if the country is working. You don't have to go to the uh, market selling uh, tomato and onion on a petty uh, uh, standard. I'm, I'm not saying you cannot be a businesswoman, but if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it with condition. Are you happy that you are sending a child of 10 years, eight years to hawk on the streets? That is child abuse. We are not thinking about that. We've, uh, you see, when I see so many things happening on the internet, where they use girls who you sent out and they start molesting those girls. These are the problems we are talking about. When it happened to you, you cry. In the next minute, they give you 5,000 or 10,000. You forget about that. That is not the way for you to go. I am calling upon you today. Make your decision. Make sure you take this country back. This country is so... The people that is ruling this country, they are so arrogant. They are so... I don't know the words to use for them. Hence, I'm on a, a, a Niger watch. I don't know the word to use for them because imagine I, I, I watched a, a, 
a, a story today whereby somebody they use his company to go and get a, a, a contract. Then when the person out, millions of uh, 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 Naira's uh, contract, when the person find out, the people that is in the, in, in the distance, in, in, the, in the business, he tries to take them to court. Imagine the former police IG told this person, go and settle with them, go home, because you cannot win this. So this country cannot be taken by saying a beg, just like our sister just said it. It cannot be taken by saying a beg. We have to take it by force. And taking it by force is the greatest opportunity is 2023. Make use of this 2023. It can never come again. It can never come again. Our prayers has been answered. I remember in the 90s, there's a prayer. I'm a Catholic. There's a prayer called pray for Nigeria in distress. Nigeria has never been in distress then. Nigeria have never been in distress in 90s, early 90s. No matter how bad that country, this country was then, it is 200 times better than now. So imagine by that time we are praying for Nigeria in distress. Today, God has answered our prayer by providing somebody who can lead the way. I'm not saying he's going he's gonna to solve all issues, but at least he will put standard. And once that standard is set, I think when Nigerians start to enjoy those standards, they will never allow anybody, I repeat, anybody to take them back to dark days. And I think that is where we need to work on because we're praying, praying. I'm not saying praying is bad. This is the time to do the work. Our prayers have been answered. I think this is where I'm going to draw the curtain, but I give hope. I've not lost hope. You know, I was emotional earlier, but I have not lost hope. I, I still hope that we can do it. Why I said what I said earlier is to wake people up. We need to wake them up because the way is going. We need we need to maintain those those uh, momentum. If we don't do that, these people they can sneak through the back door through everywhere. I, I believe by myself that we are well educated politically now to take back our country, especially the youth. Because in if Nigeria is not a country whereby people don't care, the youth, even the, if their education is there, it's important to them, they need to wake up now and do something. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chooks, for that um, wonderful um, contribution there, right? Oh, the, the women need to actually stand up and speak in one voice this time around because uh, the way women they suffer for Nigeria, you know, even easy, you know, if not even waiting for to even talk two times. The problem for the country, and eh, you just face everybody face to face. But we have to do this. We have to get it. We have to get it right. I will keep sounding it. I beg anybody we never collect PVC. We don't register. If you can hear my voice, I beg go collect your PVC. Collect your PVC. Shout no they win election. Campaign no they win election. Say na me like obi pass. You know they win election. No, me kuna go collect on a PVC. Thank you so much, guys. God bless everyone of you and i said it before any way you can support your people back home for them to go get their pvcs please do all you can within your power to support as many people as you can to do this thank you guys i really appreciate you all god bless you now god and god bless you now not too much for this platform let me go straight to oh my yes corner oh my yes corner yeah drop them as they ought <laughs> no, I don't get that power today. I give them all to Irene. Irene came with the with the fire today. I really appreciated her bringing it on like that. She just spoke the reality of it. You know, I mean, that's a fact. We can't be we can't be too sentimental, and we cannot be we cannot allow ourselves to be overwhelmed. This is not the time. Yes, we will get tired because it's a movement. 
and we're trying to undo something that's been done to us for centuries, for decades. We don't even know where this all started from. So it will tire you sometimes. It will be overwhelming. And I think somebody dropped in the comment section, I think it was Guy or one in there that said, you know, demons don't tire. That's a fact. If demons don't tire and you want to take whatever belongs to you back, what do you do? You have to be resistant to. You have to develop it. You have to be say, okay, as you they bring and hurt yourself, make the person no say you ready, dig your heels in. You know, when you go and you watch a fight, what, what's this fight? I think it's a bull fight or whatever it is they call it. You see the person digging their heels in. You got to do, this is the time for us to do that. Violence, and I don't mean it in, 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 the, in the literal terms. You have to be, they have to be unable to wear you out. Now you, to, now you need to wear people out with your information, with your village. Speak to your people in a language that they understand. If you're going to the villages, go to the, vi the inner caucus of the villages. Break it down to them in your own, in the language that they understand. If you can write it out in your language, write it out. Explain to the, to the mama that is selling ogi or whatever. Explain to her, waiting go benefit if this man enter. That's how it's got to be done. I, you know, and, you know, I really made a very solid point. Like, when people come, sometimes people are saying, because I've had, sometimes I have trouble listening to someone that, of, that is talking out of context, right? Sometimes I have trouble dealing with it because I'm like, ah, my whole body is grinding. But, but when you pay attention and I've listened on different platforms, they really, in a way, they will drop something that will be helpful to you. They don't know that they're doing that, right? But if you're attentive, attentive enough and you're patient enough, you can pick up on that and run with it. You know, in the spirit of this OB movement, we need to do more of that. When somebody is saying something, just be quiet. It's painful. It's hard sometimes. I can admit that. But listen to what that person is saying. Take what you can. Like this lady, this sister that came to this, Edo sister that came to uh, that um, Niger Watch played her video yesterday. I understood what that lady was talking about. I was really shocked when the whole thing went left yesterday and I was happy that it was, they were able to resolve it. But it was, she made sense because a lot of those people, and Irene just kind of opened it up. I think it was a guy, Emmanuel from yesterday, that made it very bare. He understood it completely. Like I did, I was wondering, you know, I didn't know how to. But anyways, the girl is just simply saying, most of those people that go on rallies, think about them. Some of them never eat for some, for a long time. That's an opportunity for them to chop. Now, I don't understand. Some of these people, they when we say maybe they're day out of school, and you know, a lot of students are out of school. There's nothing to do. So there's a lot of boredom. Some of them will come out, but they don't have anything to show for it. So let's not get too carried away. We have a big fish to fry. We have a bigger issue to deal with. Our focus right now should be winning Peter the Rockoby in that's all that is the goal we cannot be distracted so let's focus on that and let's up our energy let's let's step it up even more and push even more so that we can get the results that we want after we don't get the results you can go back you know to whatever it is that you were doing you know but we need to do it right because we cannot continue and for young people you know for those people that are young adults or whatever if i were any adult in nigeria right now living in nigeria I, I would say hold off on having your kids until next year after the election you really want to be careful the society you're giving your you're giving birth to your children in it's it's paramount because it will define the kind of lifestyle you're going to live i beg una you know this is this is really life or death for nigerians life or death so we need to take it seriously yeah thank you so much kachi i just wanted to quickly say that and also thank to you. give a shout out to irene and everybody else and sister rita and israel everybody brought it today it was really realistic talking today it was like look we had the mirror to ourselves and we're really redlining everything this was very important i really appreciate it thank you very much thank kachi you. for doing such a wonderful work thank job thank you so much
Thank you very much, Omeyes Kona. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, Amazing Grace U.S. You just rightly stated it right there. Please, my people, what is the purpose of registering for your PVC and don't collect them? It doesn't make any sense. Please go collect yours. Your life and your family lives depends on it. I couldn't agree more. Amazing Grace USA. Like you literally took the words out of my mouth. What is the purpose of registering for your PVC if you cannot collect it? Please and please and please, we cannot overemphasize on the need of you go of you going to get your PVC. Please go and get your PVC. Please, it is very, 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 very important to get your PVC so you can vote. You know, go use your mouth, vote on that day. You know, go use video of rally. Say, I know see the rally, we plenty now. You know, go use that video, vote on that day. So, guys, please go and get your PVC. Thank you all so much to everyone who has contributed, to everyone who super chatted us, to everyone who has liked and shared our broadcast. Thank you so much to all Ninja Watch family all over the globe, our viewers, those people who called in. Thank you so much. God bless you. When I don't know go spoil you, God will continue to bless all of us. I appreciate you guys. We're going to go straight to the last person for today, which is Mr. Felix. Mr. Felix, please, you have the floor. Thank you. I greet everybody, my country people. May we go to Brooklyn this evening we because to my brother, oh, yeah, drop him because, because they say what other pass Gary. Now, nah, now nah, we need to take us in the hot because since for the past three months, I keep on saying it just like the day I said that the first thing for us to get right in Nigeria is electricity with electricity, security, and everything secured. People. Who register for PVC? We not go collect them. It be like from we plant crop, you not go repair. It just like first way labor even. That is why, if you don't want to labor even, you register your PVC. You have to go and collect it, because when you collect them, it be like who go the water, who go the pool water for your crop where you plant. Last last. The crop must grow flower, it must grow better fruit. It will come on pump. I'm pleading with all Nigeria, Nigerians, everywhere they are, most especially those at home, go and collect your PVC. Without you, people collecting your PVC, like my family, all of them that have registered or have not registered before, I make sure they collected theirs. They have collected all their PVC. We are waiting for the D day. Because I say the heavens of our violet, let's go back to Bible. Only the violet take it by force. We are taking it by force, whether you like it or not. Nothing good comes easily. We have to strive for it. Put all our effort to make sure we get to our promised land through our our brother, our father, our leader. Peter Obi. Obi, I see Obi as a rock. It can be moved. I don't think it can be before. Now, to this evil. If they try their rigging system with all the wuru wuru wave, then why use that neck they do? Now, to this evil. You see that they give us the mark dates in peace. If they no one give one in peace, we collect that from them in pieces. Whether they like it or not, we don't do so far. Now, according to Asari to Google, he say, he say, no be juju be that. Percy going. That that is why I keep on saying it. We don't have leaders in our political office in Nigeria. We have dealers because they have been dealing with us right from day one. Even be, after it depend there during military regime, uh, even this democracy regime we have since ninety nine. They are be dealing with us. There is another they always say in Bini, where we are already. Meaning, if you pursue God, go jam war. I have no option. He will turn back and face you with his own. I'm pleading with everybody, most we in diaspora, we have family 
siblings, brothers and sisters in Nigeria. We are here sending money every month, every week, to make sure they will be able to eat like two, three square meals a day. If that country is good, we don't even need to send money. At least once in a while, maybe like festive, festive period for Christmas, Easter, and other festive period. Can you say, ah, I'm gonna manage this one. Why? Because all of the way they house, then they will keep. If the country is good, I can still remember when my when my uncle from my maternal side traveled to Bulgaria then. Then my mother will go to Kasawa for, for, for his side for his side bush, for his farm. Now from like they will pay his school fees. It's a medical hotel. Now it's in, it's in US. Now from Nigeria, now they will pay his school fees. If the country no good, they go feed the pay school fees from Nigeria. Our currency have value there, not like now. They have no value. You go, you, you go like hundred thousand, go market, see one will buy food store. What you go even buy you with your two children or with your wife or, or, or a few of your family? You know, go you should now eat for a week or two weeks. The, 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 the salary with they pay minimum wages, where they pay workers, government, government officials. You know, if you buy one bag of rice, okay. Best way, you never build us, you never get your personal house. If they receive 5,000 naira a month, you can't go buy one bag of rice. They don't buy beans, they don't buy tomato, they don't buy meat with the water cooker. And you know, you, now from there, of course, you pay to pay, pay your house rent. That is where you see most of all these public officers, they'll call the collect bread, made them for feed me top, they feed, they feed their family. The only place where you go feel resolve all those problems, both the need more wages and others, or be have done it before. And that is why we have all the hope and trust in him. I'm ready to sacrifice my last cover to make sure all my family go out that day to go and vote this people out. Because if if people not come out for voting uh, for election day, they're not going to vote the right person we have declared for. Meaning those old dealers we still remain there. According to we can say pepe then they go still go the pepe us. That is why we need to vote all this vote out. I'm pleading. I'm pleading with the Almighty God, with the Almighty Allah, with any any religion we believe or whether Hindu, Buddhist, and others. I'm pleading. Let's try and collect our PVC. So that on that day there will be no excuse that this is the reason why we was unable to vote these people out. If we collect our PBC, now we will get the power. Say that day, our decision, where will, will they calculate? Say we will vote these people out. It go come to manifestation. It go, it go, it go, it go, it go come to manifestation. All those things. We can collect our PBC. All this dreaming and all this effort, we don't want to labor in vain. I'm pleading because most of all these old dealers always said it before that eh, labor they will labor in vain. They will be the people that is going to labor in vain. All the money they stole from us, all our money with the those thief. That day they go spend that at the end. They will be the one to labor in vain because I'm not happy. Many times where I don't take on this panel. And they always get one bitterness inside me because I'm not happy with these people. I'm not happy. Why? Because if the if the country is good, when my father was assassinated, those that assassinated my father could have been brought to book. I'm just pleading. I don't have any other thing to see. I'm just pleading to all Nigerians. I'm just pleading. Go and collect your PVC. Let's vote these old cargoes out of this. This country short, let them go to Ezra. I guess that's just all I have to say because I, I don't have a lot to say because I'm just a matter of little word. I say, I should feel that voice. I know what I feel do. Thank you. Within myself, I know my family, where I come from. I'm from a political family. I never, I never want to mention my family name for some certain reasons. 
But those that know my voice, that have listened to her, they know that this this person is from so and so family talking. I'm just pleading. Let's Thank do this once and for all. Thank I need you. the husband. Thank you, Mr. Felix. Thank you. Now, God, now we will continue to the bless all of now. We don't come here, come lend on our voice, come talk for the matter where they affect you and I for we country Nigeria. Thank you so much. Now, God, will bless you. Now, here we go wrap up the show for today. But we could not forget to join us tomorrow, 5, 5, 5 p.m. Nigerian time. We could not forget. And also, don't forget to join us tomorrow, 10 a.m. Nigerian time, for the newspaper headline reviews, what we're going to get tomorrow. We cannot afford to miss it this time around. Come 2023 general election, do not be obedient. Be obedient. Now, the word for today be that, obedient. Do not be obedient. My people, if you hear our voice, if you never go collect on our PVC, I beg, make you go collect them. And to all our brothers and sisters in the diaspora that have family members back in Nigeria, we want to know they never go collect their PVC. I beg, we could do everything we do in our power to make sure that them do, them go collect their PVC. Now, I beg, now we did so because this country, eh, this Nigeria, eh, no be smarting. These people go to show us pepper. If anything, they will pass at our at road, do, they go show us if we not do the needful. They no be able to take us seriously again. If if we not come together, come do this thing. So please, guys, let's join us together. You know, together we stand. So let's join us together and do this for you, for hi, for our born children, for, you know, let's come together and do this. Thank you all so much for doing this with us. I really do appreciate you guys. Now, God, now go continue to the blessing now. Let's take this bad government out. They are evil. They are greedy, selfish. In fact, any new way they to call them, I end up being, because I don't understand how people will sleep at night, at night and you know that your citizens, the people of the country are suffering they cannot even afford to feed it is terrible and one person will do this they just sit down on top of where they marry marry wives up and down they bomb bon children up and down that one will come saying get four wives to the eight children to the seven children like they are so proud to say things like that just imagine please guys Let's come together and do this. God bless you all. Bella Naomi, Omoyes Corner, the Queen Valerie, everyone on the comment section. I've been finest. Tracy Jacob Pinga, Yawanile, all of you guys. Johnson and Manuel, I appreciate you guys. And everybody who lended their voice today on this course. God bless you. And to everyone who supported us today by super chatting, thank you so much, Mr. Alexander Gomez. You have done it again today. Thank you, Mr. Alexander, for the support. Now, God, now go continue to bless you for your encouragement and love towards Ninja Watch. And to our viewers, I cannot forget you guys. See, uh, when I get special place for my heart, and I did tell you now on a steady. I love you guys. Thank you so much for always doing this with us. We cannot spell success without all of you. In fact, all of you are important. We stand for our back like eczema. Thank you. Una, thank you so much. God no go fail you now. You now no go spoil you. For this thing that they do for us, God will bless you now. And God will bless our beloved country, Nigeria. One day, we will be great again. Thank you all so much. God bless every one of you. Do not forget to like and share this broadcast. If you never had one before, I don't know why they stingy with you now. Like, oh, make you help us like and share. This like of it is now free you. Oh. Help us like, help us share. Make people understand what they happen for we country. Make people understand, say, this country not too balanced, so we have to come together and balance it. So help us like, help us share, subscribe, and tell a friend about Ninja Watch. Let them come and see the good work we all are doing here. Thank you, guys. Now, God, now we continue to the blessing. Now, I love you all. Do have an amazing night rest. But before we close, maybe we play some but do to totally our body. Thank you.
Production to production, 